Hello there! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> I've got a Christmas to sweater on! I wanted to dress festively, so one of my giraffe oh, shit, Christmas sweaters. You know, I got uh, my Christmas pajamas. Uh, uh, Rob and his wife always get uh, my wife and I Christmas pajamas every year, so that's what I'm wearing. So it kind of counts. It yeah, kinda counts. sure. And yeah. you're wearing red, Walter. <laughs> I'm wearing red. <laughs> there it is. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, welcome, <laughs> though, to our Tournament Tuesday special edition. Not really a tournament. I didn't even title it Tournament Tuesday. Uh, we have just a, a tier list here of some Christmas movies that we're going to rank S, superior, A, G great, B, fine. I don't know, C, D. It ends in D. You, you know you know what some <laughs> of these means, okay? All right, you know what these mean. <laughs> Before you get on my case, chat chat hi before you get on my case i did not create these lists you gotta like make a whole account and pay for stuff and whatever so i just found a couple um we may go through this one fast we may go through it slow i don't know but we've got a second one lined up and ready to go just in case so um yes this is not every christmas movie ever uh there were a couple of those lists that had like 120 or even 80 movies on them and it was just it was a lot <laughs> Right. It we would also, be too much. This is also like, we can't put this together over the holidays, too, which is That's also true. a part of it, too. Yeah, Christmas did, in fact, happen. So, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry if we didn't get these recommendations. Too. But, you know, we so rarely talk about Christmas on here. So I'm <laughs> glad we're finally turning that around and talking about some Christmas movies and specials, you know? Yeah. 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 Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Sorry, I got um I got distracted by chat. Chat over here is moving fast and I love you all. Um we're in a level one hype train. Thank you all so much. Part of the reason we got here is because we had a Christmas miracle on a Thursday. Holy cow. What Malcolm being here, you oh, well Malcolm. <laughs> yeah. Hi Malcolm. <laughs> Welcome to stream. <laughs> hey, hello. Hello. Um, you all were so generous on Tamara's stream on Thursday. It was wild, and we appreciate that so much. So I'm glad that we hit our goal and reached a, a new record. I think it was a level 12 hype train. It was Man, insane. That's crazy. It that's was amazing. off the rails insane. So we think you all uh, definitely deserve this treat of our, our Christmas tier list here. Um, yeah, it goes up that high. They are uncapped now. <laughs> mm, yeah, they just go as high as you want them to go. Yeah, they uh -oh. just keep going and they just keep going. Um, I'm going to thank a couple of people here before we jump right into this. Um, please keep in mind, kind of like with the NC guessing game, um, stream, we can't always read every single bit messages completely bit message completely all the way through i'm gonna do my best but we are also trying to focus on this other task at hand as well um yeah no rob no tamra they're mm. out of town visiting yeah, family mm. <laughs> the mm. holiday season mm. okay Doug. Do. great yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah thank you we all so needed that. angry so angry <laughs> Crush Level, thank you for the 26-month subscription. Welcome back. Sailor Aaron, thank you for the 23-month subscription. Um, I'm so freaking happy to hang out and help awesome people like you. Hope that Channel Awesome cast and crew had a wonderful holiday this past weekend and look forward to a new year. Uh, that Disney Nerd, thank you for the 32 months. 32 months, baby. I know it doesn't do much. I just really enjoy supporting all of you and this channel. Hey. It does do something. You supported us and we appreciate it. I hope all yes. of you had a wonderful Christmas. Looking forward to all the reviews and streams to come in 2023. Um, Chimmy Chumpy, thank you for the 50 bits. Arthur Christmas A to S class. Oh, we'll get to that. Uh, Daddy Baja, thank you for the 50 bits. One case of Heather on sale at Trader Joe's. <laughs> I don't know why that got me, but that really got me. I'm on a holiday, holiday, uh, clearance right now at trader joe's i know i, I like this one it just says wait rob has a family trader sir joe's. this is a cult <laughs> <laughs> that's my friend kim's emotes the sir this is a cult um <laughs> talking to carl thank you for the 50 bits i have an ugly christmas sweater with every version of the grinch i love it that sounds amazing that Disney nerd, okay. thank you for the 50 bits. I don't know if this is a hot take. Christmas vacation is bad. I watched it for the first oh. time last week, and oh my god, it was painful to sit through. 
D tier. Oh, no. I watched save it for the first time so. ever recently too. So really? Yeah, how, yeah, we'll we'll save my opinion. Oh, I guess we'll see. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, General Kenobi, thank you for the 50 bits. I got my first tattoo today. I have the symbol of the oh, United nice. Federation of Planets on my upper right arm. That is sick. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Happy healing. That Disney nerd, thank you for the 50 bits. Wow, imagine visiting your family during the holiday season. Uh, Talkative Carl, thank you for the 50 bits. I'm surprised Scrooge is not on the list. Arguably the best Christmas Carol adaptation. The other one that I have ready does. I know, it was it, it was a chore trying to find some stuff yeah. that, this morning. I'm not going to lie to you. I've, I have had family that literally <laughs> just left uh, yesterday at 7 p.m. Um, staying at our house for six days. Uh, so <laughs> we didn't even know we were going to make it. And suddenly it's like, Oh shit. <laughs> right. Yeah. But my baby is Strider for life. Thank you for the 50 bits. Hey everyone. How was your Christmas? Golden flash. Thank you for the subscription using your prime. Welcome. Appreciate that. We know you could use your prime thank anywhere. You. So we appreciate you using it here. <laughs> Fantastic. I know, no Die Hard and Gremlins. I, chat, get off my back about this list, okay? I did my best. <laughs> she didn't make the list. I folks. told she you. Didn't pick a list. <laughs> I didn't even make it. General Kenobi, thank you for the 50 bits. The guy doing it had Netflix on. He asked if there was anything I wanted to watch. I asked if he could put Wednesday on. I had two episodes left. He said, hell yeah. Oh, nice. nice. Very cool. All right, well, let's, uh, let's start diving into some of these, huh? Let's, let's do, it. do it. All yes. right, the first one is a classic. A Charlie Brown Christmas. Where does this belong? I, I mean, I gotta say S tier. I, I, I gotta put it up there. S. Okay. All right. I, okay. Very, very fond memories of this. Uh -huh. um, I watched it on VHS every year. I didn't really catch it on TV too much, but we watched it every year when I was a kid. Okay. Um, there's a lot that I really like about it. I, I would say high A, not quite S, but high A. I would agree with that. High yeah. A. Yeah. I would agree I, with. I'm kind of in agreement with that high A. Like, after watching it so many times, you know, there, it is a nostalgic classic, and it's great, but, you know, high A, you know? Yeah. And to me, it's, I don't know, I can't, maybe there are others, but I can't think of another special that's about putting on a Christmas pageant that's kind of done like a Christmas pageant, with the way the acting is and the way it's kind of scripted, and it is a little stilted, but there's also, like, an artistry to it. And the fact that it is animated, it still has kind of that Christmas pageant feel, I think is really fascinating to me. I always kind of look at, like, I can almost see it being done on stage. I'm actually almost shocked there isn't a stage version of, like, do kids yeah. do this at, like, Christmas pageants, like, around Christmas time at schools or anything like that? Because, like, they should. It's, like, tailor made for it. Mm -hmm. That would be a good idea, yeah. I yeah. think, like, the, the, the biggest aspect that come I came away from this was, like, to get a real Christmas tree, no matter how crappy it looks. <laughs> <to get laughs> Because the metal Christmas trees, the aluminum Christmas trees, like, uh, I, I still have, like, a big um, fondness for actually going out and getting a tree and bringing it back Me and, too. like, the whole process. So, yeah. And th this was a big part of that. So, like, it definitely, like, informed my Christmas spirit. I just can't say, like, it, it's just below an S for me. It's just, like, barely below. You know, I'm not going to lie, looking at a lot of these, I'm like, I'm just going to say S tier for a lot of these. I'm like, ah, shit. So, yeah, just get used to that the more I'm looking at these. <laughs> All right, so we uh, agree with A, right? Right, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, the also classic, A Christmas Story. Oh, oh my S -tier. God. S tier. <laughs> Yeah, that's got to be S. See, I don't know. I've got a hot take. For me, it's like C. I don't, I don't know. I've never loved anymore, it. Really. No, it's not a hot take anymore. If anything, that's almost the popular opinion now. Right. Really? This movie um, is a victim of its own success because it's been it played so much. So much. Um, well, and, and, and people are sick of it now. Well, and but the can we charm count that against it? it? Yeah, see, to... I found it just the right time when nobody really knew about it. And that was the charm of it is that nobody really knew about it and was kind of catching on and people were kind of like, have you seen this film? Like, you know, the kids like swear and say son of a bitch and stuff like that. And there's even a little bit of like blood and stuff, but it's about like, you know, the older day is still kind of a family <laughs> film too, mm -hmm. you know, but he kind of says the F word in it as well and stuff, but like, it's okay. Like, families let their kids watch it and stuff like that so there's a real charm to that then when it blew up 
and and it's still arguably blowing up. Everyone's always like, "Well, man, this has been built up so much, and I feel like it can't you can't build up to the hype because it's not a film that's supposed to have hype. It's supposed to be right. discovered. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But oh. in, in my opinion, that's not against. I'm with Walter. I don't think you can knock that against the film. Um, but I can see why someone wouldn't get into it either. I mean, it's just little kids like, I want a gun. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I think at its highest for me would have been like another like high A, but where I'm at with it now, I think it's it's like a more of a B plus to me. So I'd okay. rank it in B. Okay. Well, so, but I, I mean, Doug, so you're S. So Doug is S. Walter is B. I'm like B C. Malcolm, where are you? Malcolm, where are you? Are you here? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Malcolm has his microphone off. So. All right. <laughs> Oh, what? Malcolm, yeah, Malcolm's you got your microphone off. Ah. Oh, what a do. Well, okay, I thought you said S. I thought you said S. <laughs> Even when he's here, he's not here. <laughs> All right. So, so what? Should we just compromise and say A, I guess? No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I mean you, you can do like, uh, yeah, either A or B, I guess, would make sense uh, right i wouldn't be like against a, an, an a for this because uh, doug you really think it's an s and I, it is a really classic film i mean yeah i i wouldn't disagree putting in an a all right all right fine arthur christmas okay s tier okay <laughs> s -tier. i just watched i literally just got done watching this like a half hour ago so <laughs> like the first time i've ever seen it I love it. So it's it. like fresh in your head, right? Right. Yeah, I, it's very fresh in my head. So at the at first, I was like, "This is really funny and really energetic," and I love all the characters and like the the take on the mythology of Santa Claus and all the elves and everything. And I thought it was just like this is funny, this is cute. But as it went along, I got more and more into it. By the end, I was like, "This has got to be S tier." Arthur is Damn. such an endearing character that he like carries the Christmas spirit over like the real Santa Claus. <laughs> Uh, over yeah. several versions of the real Santa Claus. Um, and there's so much spirit and holiday cheer in this movie that's not done in a way that's hokey. It really feels heartfelt. I, I, I got to put this at the S tier for me. Okay. All right. I think when I saw it, I had my expectations up too high. Mm. And so, like, I still wouldn't say, like, oh, it's a C. I think it would still solidly be an A. But I agree. We can just put it in S. Because I know I loved what was hilarious to me is both of you put your hands up like, woo, at the <laughs> same mean, time. <laughs> and, you know, it's funny because I think most people going in have the opposite. Th I mean, now I think we probably built it up a lot. But uh, back then when it came out, everybody's like, oh, that looks cute. Okay, whatever. And then they're like really surprised at like, how good it is and how smart it is and funny it is mm -hmm. uh now it's probably it might be having the christmas story thing where it might be working against it and people are like so hyped uh to right. see it or it's built up so much and uh, i guess we lost our malcolm yeah we did. Just... Oh. we've lost him he's Aww. left us he's left well us maybe he'll be back soon maybe he'll <laughs> be back christmas, soon malcolm you filthy yeah, animal I also happy new year <laughs> realized how much of this tier list that is being cut off by your beautiful faces so I'm fixing Sorry. that. Sorry. I am S tier, Heather. What are you doing? <laughs> right, Walter Benaziak, S tier and play. S -tier. <laughs> Low I S, S, but still Christmas S. Special. Uh, Alan, thank you for the hundred bits. Wait, where's episode three of the Infinity Trinity? What? Oh. On this list. <laughs> oh, that's that's above S. That's uh, <laughs> that's asterisk tier. Mm. <laughs> That's the starring above the title. Oh, <laughs> right. elite gamer. Walter is S tier for salty. S for salty. Uh, mm. <laughs> S well, for the still, still makes me S, so sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, next one is Christmas Vacation. Okay. S tier. S tier. <laughs> I, I just saw this as well. Like, I watched a few Christmas, like a handful of Christmas movies that I never saw before this year. This was one of them just from a few days ago. Uh, I started off not liking it <laughs> but this is another by the middle by the end i did like enjoy enough i don't think it's because i didn't grow up with it uh it's not really one of those movies that i look back on with like these starry eyes and nostalgia or anything like that but i understand its appeal especially for back then in the 80s there you know it's a little weird when he like looks out the window and there's like that uh that model stripping and then it's like oh a little kid just comes in that's the following scene <laughs> little uh strange and it was a really heartfelt scene it's one of the best scenes in the movie 
um, when he's talking to his niece. But and that, that, that's um, Newt's sister, Newt from uh, Aliens. Oh, really? Yeah, that, she looks just like her, like exactly. And I think both that's of them not. just acted in their one movie and then never did anything uh. else. It's really weird, uh, uh, but they look like exactly alike too. It, it's um, funny also because Beverly D'Angelo, who's like the the wife in this, right? Um, I just saw Violent Night last night, and oh. she's uh, as a big part in that. That was a oh. really good movie. I really enjoyed it, especially with a crowd, people reacting to all the brutality and stuff. That was really good. Uh, just oh, a recommendation right. for me if you guys haven't seen it yet. No, I um, haven't actually, and I probably wasn't going to, but now knowing that, it's like, all right, maybe I will check that out. <laughs> I think you 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 should probably have a good time with it i think uh but yeah there, there's like a lot of people are saying that it didn't live up to its, its premise or whatever but i think it, it did really well especially david harbour as santa claus i know we're not talking about the movie right now but it's yeah, i was song. gonna say i think it's christmas <laughs> vacation but yeah. uh, uh but uh christmas uh, vacation i would rank as uh probably as like a low b maybe Ooh, a C, interesting low b wow low b, uh, but i didn't dislike it uh you know there's just some things in there that i'm like uh I don't know about all this, oh, but uh, mm -hmm. I did come away liking it much more than disliking it. Hmm. Uh, how about you, Heather? I mean, I think I'm more on the cusp of S and A with Christmas Vacation. Mm, if you ask me right. to watch a Christmas Story or Christmas Vacation, I'm gonna watch Christmas Vacation hands down in an instant mm. over okay. Christmas yeah, Story. Yeah, I, I, I watch it, <laughs> yeah, and part of it is. Um, I did grow up with it, but on top of that, it's a Chicago Christmas movie. Yeah, and I feel is. like they have so many <laughs> Chicago Christmas, even though very clearly lots of it is not shot in yeah, Chicago. Yeah, sure. It's all shot in Colorado or something, I think. Right? Yeah, but um, yeah, and the fake, as fake snow goes, it, it's pretty convincing, but you can't tell it's fake snow. <laughs> right. Still. Uh, yeah, I, I quote the hell out of it and everything. Uh, and I know not like every joke works in and stuff, but yeah, I, I love it. I'm with you. I'm S tier all the way. Okay. Well, um, okay. What's I'm the compromise? B. I'm at B. I, a is would be fine. I with guess me. A I is mean, the compromise. <laughs> I, probably A is the compromise. Okay. Right. Watch all of us, like half of these movies, all end up in A for nostalgia yeah. <laughs> or compromise yeah. reasons. I mean, but that's part of the Christmas movie stuff. Is it that, is. Like you grew up watching it and you have these attachments to it. So that, that's yeah. part of the rating system here. It is. It is. All right, next one is A Christmas Carol. I think this is, I'm going to zoom this in a little bit more because I can't see exactly. Yeah, it's, the Jim, it's the Jim Carrey one. It's yeah, the Jim I can Carrey tell. one. Okay. I saw this in yeah. theaters. It was the first 3D movie I saw in theaters. Yeah. Wasn't it, did you see it in IMAX in 3D? I don't, uh, I might have. I don't, maybe. It was just a long the, time ago. This came out, what, like over 10 years ago at this point, right? Like that. The 3D, I never saw it. when the, the 3D, when they're in their house and they're, they're moving the house and they're looking yeah. through the floor. Uh -huh. Wasn't that like, it was really next cool. level 3D. I never yeah. saw 3D like that, you know, yeah. outside of like Avatar. And I was really blown away by that. Uh, the movie, where would you put the movie in general, though? I like I'm back and forth on this because when I first saw it, there's a lot of stuff I really liked about it. But there's like there's so many better versions of A Christmas Carol. And that kind of uh, dragged it down a little bit. So I would probably be in the, the B area with this one. That's why I'd, I'd be a low B, high C. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it's like, it's hard to say the whole thing works, but man, those few moments that do are like, holy shit, yeah, are they good. Sure. When he looks um, at Bob Cratchit, like the lock eyes is, is a great moment. Malcolm's back. Malcolm. Oh, we see him. Wait, he doesn't have the microphone unmuted, though. Is it just an internet thing? I don't know. Malcolm, we can't hear you. We can see you, but we, well, we can't even see you, actually. Yeah, it's got the <laughs> muted, it's got the mute symbol on, so that means it's Skype is muted on your end. Malcolm. Okay, so uh, uh, un unmute it on your end, Malcolm, if you're even watching. I know he's even watching. He's probably just still talking, just like, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, really? Uh, yeah, I, I guess I say low B, high C. Okay, uh, I'm back. There you are! Okay. Yeah, man, the voice this, of Malcolm. Like, I, I haven't opened this laptop, or this Skype on this laptop for a long time and it just hit me with so many errors but i think it's stable now we hear you right, you're crossed. here yes <laughs> okay good yeah I, I don't know what to do about the camera but that's all right it's all good well ha we have your okay. dulcet tones and that's what we really need <laughs> thank you all right so we're on uh the jim carrey uh christmas carol uh walter and i are somewhere Ooh. in the b and C level, I think Heather, uh, you were gonna say. I've never uh, seen it. I have no Jim opinion. Carrey. Oh yeah, okay. Wait, which one? Jim Carrey's oh, that Christmas one? Carol, animated one. Yeah. Oh, um, I don't know. It was just kind of 
all right. <laughs> so what out of it, S- it's been a, a long B-C-D. time since I've seen it. I, I'd give uh, it like a B. B. Yeah. Okay. A B. So I, I guess we're in the B area. Okay. All right. There we go. It's a B. For, for B. <laughs> <laughs> That's Disney Nerd. Thank you for the 50 bits. Malcolm re-entering the stream like, why, hi, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> I, yeah. Why, hi, guys. Hi, I hi, love that oh. clip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the tropes, the Malcolm tropes. DCL <laughs> so. Coda, thank you for the 50 bits. Unpopular opinion, I can't get through the first home alone. I'm sorry, but I can't <gasps> stand the family. They're awful in a way that's borderline abusive and just unlikable for me. Wow. Well, Some? I mean, well, people yeah, say yeah, it, but both. <laughs> Both Tamara and Jim uh, thought right. the same thing. They thought they were way too likable to like the movie. Mm-hmm. Tamara says she's soft in a little bit. Uh, she's like, but I still don't like it. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll, oh, yeah, we'll get they, to yeah, that. They're supposed to be awful people. I thought that was like part of the movie. It's like, yeah, you're supposed to kind of hate this family, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A little bit, a little bit, yeah. But, but I should say, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Mm-hmm. I know, guys. Thank you for the 50 bits. My favorite Christmas movie is Puss in Boots, Last Wish. I wow. that. It's getting great reviews, man. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited seen it. to see it. I it, want to it's see getting it. like it's rave seen. reviews. Like everyone that, yeah, everyone that's seen it is like, this is really great. <laughs> I'm like, what? Puss in Boots wow. 2. Oh, okay. okay. Puss in Boots yeah. 2. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I'm I like, like crazy curious. I like the character. I do like the character yeah, yeah. in the lore. So do I. Yeah, the, the, like the film before it was okay, whatever. Yeah, it was like, like all no, right. This is really, really great. I'm like, I'm so curious. Yeah. What you want to come up here, buddy? All right, we're Speaking on to pets. the animated How the Grinch Stole Christmas. This one yeah, the S one S. Above S, it would S. be that. <laughs> yeah. S plus. All right. Yeah, do we wow. even need to say one? That was <laughs> easy. <laughs> All of us S, S plus, S. It would be great. Malcolm, <laughs> recite some of the, the Grinch song for us. <laughs> the super oh, yeah. one, one, Mr. Grinch. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Really are a heel. <laughs> <laughs> Throw <old> Malcolm Croft. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. We're on to Elf then. Okay. This is uh, another one that I saw for the first time this year. Um, oh, what'd you think? I um, went into it expecting to absolutely hate it. Um, and I came out of it mixed to more positive. I feel like the... The negative stuff about it with Will Ferrell overdoing it and some of like the really annoying stuff is not like front and center the entire time. That's so true. I would give it like a low B, maybe high C. Um, but there's enough good stuff about it that I, I came out with it with a positive outlook. I, I'm the same uh, ballpark, a low B, a high C. Um, right. Like every, everything you said, I mean, I did a whole review on it, literally. Uh, but everything <laughs> you said is like exactly... My thought: the annoying stuff is annoying, but they mix it up just enough for me to like it. So, yeah, like, like I, I guess I'm in that ballpark. <laughs> Heather, how do you feel about D? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. D. <laughs> G- 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 but, <laughs> but keep in mind too, she was a teacher. She had to hear <laughs> these lines repeated over and over That's around fair. Christmas time. But I'll you accept like a- putting it at a C. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they no, saying so, B. <laughs> they said low B, high C. <laughs> for for years, I said, uh, or for years, I saw the like the advertisements on USA Network for this movie that was just Will Ferrell burping for like an entire twenty seconds. Yeah, that, that was the advertisement. That was like the the commercial. I remember for that. Elf, this Saturday at seven p.m. It was like, oh, that looks freaking stupid. Yeah, <laughs> like extra stupid. <laughs> the only uh, time I actually did see Elf was in school. Oh, oh really? really? Yeah. In school. Interesting. Yeah. What did Wait, you guys think of the, the scene where he walks in and that girl in the shower then? Yeah, that was odd. <laughs> <laughs> kids like go, hey, watch this in school. I don't know. Um oh yeah, so Malcolm, what what do you think? Uh what tier would you put it in? I like I'm thinking I don't know, there there is like underneath it all there is a heart to it. So mm-hmm. I kinda wanna give it like that low B. Okay, so we're looking at either a B or C. I mean, we don't have anything in C yet. We yeah, I wouldn't be mad if you put it in C. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be angry. Stuff. I wouldn't be angry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Go. I win that compromise. No, just kidding. It's <laughs> <laughs> like it's the bottom of the list. That's all that matters. <laughs> For Cuts now. In- 
Catch and play stuff. Thank you for the 50 bits. Hi, everyone. What movies are you looking forward to for next year? I'm most excited for the Super Mario Bros. movie and Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Yeah, probably same. <laughs> well, Oppenheimer. Yeah. Man. Oppenheimer. Also, uh, was it Knock at the Cabin, the new Shyamalan film? Oh, my oh. God. They just dropped in our trailer for it. It just looks like good old-fashioned schlocky Shyamalan, <laughs> like in the best way. I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. Alex. <laughs> Uh, sorry, sorry, I was gonna go. say I'm really excited for Spider Verse, but also I mean like yes, I'm not looking forward to the Flash to see what the hell they're going to do with all this now. <laughs> if oh, we ever yeah. see it, man, I don't know. At this point, if they're not even bring Cavill back, why the hell would they even release <laughs> that now? I don't know. They've, they've dumped over two hundred million dollars into that movie. It's gotta come out now, but I mean yeah. I don't know what, how they're gonna fix everything, quote unquote. It's a Batman movie now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Alexander, thank you for the 50 bits. I understand the criticisms of Elf, but Artie Lang's Santa cracks me up. Wait. Oh, his, yeah, he was like the mall Santa or whatever, right? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. General Kenobi, thank you for the 50 bits. Heather, I'm the teacher. I'm the Twitch queen. I'm running the list. It goes into D tier, God damn it. <laughs> uh, no. Yes, Look, yes, I played nice. I put it in C. Uh, Alan, thank you for the 100 bits. I have to say, both Home Alone movies are my all-time favorites, but I actually like two better than one. Also, The Muppets really? Christmas Carol is S-tier, best adaptation of that classic story. We will get to all of those in time. Mm -hmm. That's a Disney Nerd. Thank you for the 50 bits. Let's all get hyped for the Barbie movie. Okay, <laughs> genuinely, though, I'm very, very excited for that Barbie movie. That trailer, movie. right? That trailer is very interesting. Yes. Even the stills we've been getting, I'm very excited for that Barbie trailer. Yeah, the okay. little clips they play at the end, that, that looks like fun. All the pink houses and stuff. <laughs> the different Kens, I mean, that, that does look like fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to our list. We've got Frosty the Snowman, the classic. Hmm. Hmm. I, I haven't seen this in like two decades. I, I don't really remember too much about it, but I did like it when I was a kid quite a bit. Like the story yeah, of Frosty is a good one. I, 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 yeah, I, I'd give it an A because like the story is impactful, you know, dealing with uh, like kind of like I, I really feel like that ending part when the snowman melted, it was really kind of sad to me. Like that hit me really hard. Am I what's so <laughs> So what's real funny about that, I mean, spoilers, but uh, yeah. you, when it got to that scene, because most people see it, no, you know, he, he comes back at the end. They bring him back. But right. when uh, when we were, I already saw the special, but everyone else didn't. And they were showing it like in school. And as soon as it got to that part where he's melted and the little girl's crying and everything, the bell rings and they stop it. So all the kids were just under the impression that's how it is. Oh, wow. Yeah, that happened to me <laughs> That wow. happened to me once. And I'm like, what? I'm like, what a, a sad movie. <laughs> that was like the first time I saw it. Like, it, the bell yeah. rang and we couldn't finish the movie. And that was like, and then it was like Christmas break. So, <laughs> you know. But, 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 but that's a good point. Because I did kind of forget about that scene. Because I'm like, yeah, it's okay. But I'm like, that was, and it's short. But it's like, that was an impactful scene i i do remember that was actually for, for like a little kids thing that was pretty good um i still put it in like the b range yeah i i, I don't <laughs> think there's a ton in it for like adults and stuff it doesn't mean there has to be but uh I, you're gonna hear me with all like the kind of little kid ranking bass stuff i'm gonna like put it all in that range <laughs> <laughs> i mean I, looking... I'll, I'll defer to you guys i mean like i i think it's just for like the social impact and like it's Frosty the song and the the character, yeah. I would maybe say A, but if you like don't want to put it in B, that's fine. Yeah, I think it's an A minus. Oh, I feel ahead. like B is probably fair, but I think I'm also thinking about like the other Rankin Bass specials that are on this list too. That like I would watch before I would watch Frosty the Snowman. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I uh, I I think I would put it at at B as well. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Moving on to Home Alone 2. I don't know why Home Alone 2 is first Wait, on this list. Wait, are we doing Home Alone 2 first? It's Wait, Home Alone 2 so, is first yeah. on this list, so. Okay. Home Alone uh, 2. Uh, I'll, I'll say, just like whoever mentioned that in, in the chat, I mean, I grew up with this on VHS, so I watched this all the time during Christmas, and I love this movie. <laughs> like, this yeah. is the total nostalgia goggles kind of thing, like, I love Home Alone 2. I really like Home Alone 1, but 
two is the one that I was more attached to growing up, and I just I like it so much. The two turtle doves, come on! Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's S tier for me, man. It's S tier. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> so for the brick alone, it's S tier. Oh um, yeah, this movie. Tim Curry, S Tim Curry. Tim Curry is the only thing that is the only S tier thing. <laughs> yes, I'll I'll say that. And the throwing the brick. <laughs> <laughs> one of the funniest things ever filmed because of how just fucking childish it is. Um, but uh, I, I mean, for me, it's like B or C. Oh, tier. the movie as a whole. Yeah, because everything's just repeat. They make fun of the fact. But McCall Culkin had a lot going on in his life at that time. I don't blame him, but he's clearly on autopilot. <laughs> I kind of think that's why it makes it S tier. Just because it's like, <laughs> it's because of its cult cultural impact and just how it was kind of self-aware unawaringly self-aware if that makes any sense i don't know i know what you're saying it, it can, um, it's come out two years or one year after the first one i think it was like one year at that's the most crazy. too oh my goodness that's so quick and it was um, still entertaining too and also well, I think it's one of the reasons they chose him to do harry potter because he made it so quickly you know this film about a little kid has to be made fast around Christmas time so they don't grow up. I mean, that's why they picked Chris Columbus for the Harry Potter movies at first. They're just like, well, we know he can do this. Mm, <laughs> Get him right. out fast. <laughs> and, yeah, in the in the Christmas uh, zeitgeist, I guess, <laughs> especially Western Christmas, I feel like, mm -hmm. man, like, Home Alone, they, just Home Alone 1 and 2, like, they just kind of, like, sit next to each other. I yeah, know I'm getting okay. ahead of myself, but... I mean, like, it's not like you can watch one without the other. Uh, like, I, I think that... Yes, it is! <laughs> Let me finish. Let me finish, fool. The two back-to-back -back makes a lot of fun, for especially for younger kids. I think because two is more aimed at, like, the slapstick stuff from the first one. The first yeah. one tried to have more of a story, obviously. Um, that homeless lady that, like, from Ireland that got her heart broken. She's like, oh, well, I'm homeless now. Like, kind of sweet, though. What? I mean, like, the, the score, John Williams' score, and then when they're above, like, looking it's at the, the, the opera or, or the uh, the concert and everything, like, I, I like that stuff. Like, I like the, the schmaltzy stuff when he's looking up at the kid, it would, like, the kid who's, like, in the window and says, you're not going to yeah, ruin it. That's why it's not D tier. <laughs> I, I love it. I love, it. I, I love but, this movie. It's, it's also, S tier for me. Yeah, just the way that they. Like the second one, they just focused on beating the shit out of the <laughs> the home invaders. <laughs> right. That was like the whole movie, and I was and, like, this and is I love that it's it's a house that that's completely un, like in in remodeling or whatever, right? So like like it's more <laughs> like like the tool chest down the stairs and the, the over the nose, like all that <laughs> stuff. It's fantastic, and I love it. I'm not apologizing. I love this. Movie. <laughs> it's the sticky bandits. Damn it, the sticky bandits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how about you, Heather? What are your thoughts? I would say A. I, I think I yeah. don't have as much of an attachment as uh, Malcolm and Walter do oh. to it. I would put the first Home Alone over Home Alone 2. Um, but I don't think it's S tier. I'm, I'm sorry, gentlemen. <laughs> I feel like they sit next to each other, but... No, so, no. Clearly, clearly not. Malcolm are S tier. Clearly not. Heather, you're A. And Doug, you're I like B. Yeah, B or C, so like it probably A makes yeah, sense. Yeah, averages out to A. Fine. If that's it's fine. an A, that's fine with me. Oh, All right. That's so weird. Charlie Bound Christmas and Home Alone 2 together. <laughs> yeah. 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 What a marathon, though. That not make sense to me. <laughs> oh, man. It just it feels so well rounded. I like this bell curve so far. That's a Disney Nerd. Thank you for the 50 bits, a limousine, and a pizza. Yes. <laughs> Talking about like he smiles and like the light goes on behind him and stuff when he finds a credit, credit card <laughs> okay. fraud. Yeah, everything with him. Oh, it's so good. Talking of Carl, thank you for the 50 bits. Get down on your knees and tell me you love me. Yes. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Man, that's hilarious. <laughs> Amazing. Well, as long as we're on the topic of uh, Home Alone, Home Alone 1, the very first S. one. S. It's S for me, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Of course, yeah. I mean, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> what? Wait, 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 wait. We gotta talk about this. Well, there would be no like Home Alone 2 if it wasn't Home Alone 1. It's the exact same movie. There's nothing, there's nothing that brings it down for me. I mean, like, okay. it's just that I'm so attached to 2. Oh, okay. So, you know, like, so, yeah, put it in the S. Go ahead. That's fine. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> I, I love it. I, I love Home Alone 1 as well. I do. Uh, <laughs> the old man, like, that's the most emotional arc in either movie. 
is, is well, that, that, that stuff. I, I, I was saying at Humble Oak, too, it, it, you know, again, we don't know what's going on. It looks like Culkin's, the heart wasn't it or whatever, had our stuff going on. But I mean, like, in that scene where he's looking out the window at the old man, I mean, it's like, that is the most genuine heartwarming acting I feel like I've ever seen from him. I mean, it just feels like, and the music and everything and the, the closing in the snow, I'm just like, oh man, like that's, if those scenes weren't in there, I'd probably say, oh yeah, you know, A, B, you know, or something like that. But like that whole addition of that Marley character, uh, just, yeah, that that's what makes it S tier for me. I love that Wally for golly in chat says, go ahead, break Walter's heart. <laughs> <laughs> You're not breaking my heart by putting it at F. It's, it's, I understand why. I mean, the cultural impact, like we talked about with yeah. uh, with Frosty. I mean, Home Alone, everybody knows Home Alone. By the way, sp speaking of Violent Night again, they have a whole <laughs> Home Alone sequence. It's it's ridiculous. It's amazing, like Wait, what they what? do with it. Just think in that movie called Violent Night, and they have a Home Alone sequence. It's freaking amazing. You guys got to see that movie. Okay. All right. Now, if you better watch out was Home Alone 2, then I'd say that's an S tier Home Alone. <laughs> oh, what is this? Ooh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kenton Play Stuff, thank you for the 50 bits. This is a question for Chester and Doe. What'd you guys get each other for Christmas? Was it change? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I wouldn't have her change at all. She's lovely the way she is. That's the evil. <laughs> oh, oh you're the sweetest. No, you're the sweetest. <laughs> General Kenobi, thank you for the 50 bits. Another YouTuber I watched, he reviewed Home Alone 2, and when Marv said they're the sticky bandits, he made the joke, I got the idea when I tried using super glue as a form of lubricant that that uh, day did not end well. Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. I, believe that. <laughs> I think he's lying, Malcolm. I think he's lying. Joking. <laughs> Alan, thank you for the 100 bits. Macaulay Culkin will, will, will replace Henry Cavill to make The Flash a Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I, I, I don't think it would. Was Henry Cavill The Flash? How did that work? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We are on to a timeless classic. It's a wonderful life. I just saw this in theaters, like on the re-release. Um, man, I, it's... I, I really, really like this movie. It's an S for yeah, me. Yeah, S. S for me, too. Easy S. <laughs> a, part, a part of me hates saying that, because it's like, everyone's going to give it S tier and stuff, but it's like, and I, I went in with a very close mind, like, mm, no, I'm not going to like that. I, I know how the movie ends. I'm not going to like it. And mm. it's like two thirds of that movie really is like, this is just for the adults. We're going to focus on like finances mm -hmm. and work and like that being a big part of your identity and not be able to do what you you know always want to do but like at the same time finding the importance like all this stuff that's like oh shit yeah this is actually weirdly adult uh i always kind of thought like the angel would come in like halfway or maybe even like the first third but it's like yeah it doesn't happen to like uh, what the last 20 minutes of the movie yeah. something like that so uh that really surprised me and uh i do put it on every year now i'm like ah oh, shit yeah i love uh, I, I love in a weird way sympathizing with like you know the stress that's going on and not the technicals of it but like you I feel like everybody every grown up does identify with the stress that he's going through in there and, and Stewart's just so damn good yeah uh, in right. that role yeah uh, who hasn't talked about it Walter and I have <laughs> yeah I just said S easy S for me okay now, Malcolm what, what do you think uh, what, let's see, which one is this again? It's True. a Wonderful Life. <laughs> it's a, oh, it's a, oh, yeah, S-tier. I just S -tier. The whole yeah. movie. <laughs> yeah, S-tier. Sorry, I, I was distracted. I was getting... Okay. All right, <laughs> so all right, we, yeah, we basically all said S. All right. S yes. Yes, definitely. Oh, you hear that ringing? An angel just got his wings. Yes. When Malcolm's phone Earth. rang, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that Disney nerd, thank you for the 50 bits. Maybe it's because I'm too young to fully appreciate, but It's a Wonderful Life is overrated to me. You're telling me this family man was willing to commit suicide because he constantly gives up his hopes and dreams for everyone? No, because he's about to go to jail. <laughs> right. He constantly you didn't watch has... it close enough. He's about, he thinks he's about to ruin everybody's life. The, the, the savings and loan. He's about to go to prison. He's mm -hmm. going to ruin his family there. You know, at the time, they, you know, that's seen as not having income coming in and stuff like that. So he thinks he's going to ruin everybody's life. Uh, and they even said he's worth more dead than alive. Yeah. So yeah, no, right. It's, 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 it, it, it's a 
it, it's different. Yeah, you might miss that part. <laughs> hmm. All right, we're on to it's Christmas time again, Charlie Brown. I don't think I've seen this one before. <laughs> I, I saw it. it. It's not bad. It's not good, though, either. It, it was made years later. Um, I don't know. I, I put in like the wait. I, I want to make sure I'm, I'm looking at the same. What's it called? It's Christmas yeah. time. It's Christmas, Christmas time, time again, again, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Let me make sure it's the same one because I know I saw a sequel. Somebody uh, remind I, me what happens in this. Cause I, yeah. I is this the one it. where the kid is like on a bike? I think it's, oh wait, 92. Did I see this one? Shit. Maybe I didn't. Hold on. Yeah. I don't know if I saw this. One. I, I didn't for sure. Did not. Oh, maybe I didn't see this one. Oh, sh oh, wait, wait, wait. No, okay, I did. Uh, this is the one where uh, Snoopy's going to be like uh, a sheep in the play and stuff. I okay, I did oh. see this. Um, but that should kind of be a warning sign if you're like, wait, did I see <laughs> this? Did I blah, blah, blah? Uh, it's not bad. Um, I don't know. I, I would put it in B tier. I think, yeah, I think I saw this maybe one time, and it did not leave an impact. Hmm. I think they made like another one years later, uh, another After Christmas this? one there, which is, yeah, if you can believe it, I think, I thought it was a Christmas one. I could be wrong, uh, but it was made like, I think in the 2000s or something. Um, I'm terrible, but there's so damn many of them. It's hard to follow them all. <laughs> but um, I, for anyone that has seen that, I mean, I put it in B tier if I'm the only one who saw it. <laughs> I'll defer to you guys because I, I'm pretty sure I did see it, but this is years ago and I remember almost nothing about it. So. <clears throat> Yeah, I'll I'll do the same and defer to y'all. Uh, right. I guess. I guess it's B then. There you go. <clears throat> All right, the live action Grinch. No. <laughs> D, no. D. Um, what D? It's a D, D for D, me D, too. D. I don't oh, love it. the live action Grinch. So, <laughs> I give it a B. I have a question. No. I have a question. What? So there, a there's no, there's no F tier on this. No, so, there is no F. I'm sorry. So, so D, D is basically the F. Yeah. So yes. it's it's not like Wait. this is school grade and S is it an kind A plus of plus or something, right? Yeah, I mean it kind of um, is. Because if if we had an F, I would probably put it a D. But since we don't have an F, I would say maybe a C, maybe C minus, because there are some some maybe. at least stupid funny <gasps> stuff. In it. I, I give it a B because, man, the only reason we really remember this movie is because it's Jim Carrey. Yes, true. Uh, the The makeup's very good on mm -hmm. him, and yeah. his acting in it is very is you know it doesn't look like he's suffering he's in that suit. Like character. you know he is, right? You know, right. it's it really something. But everything else is awful. I know everything's so bad. Just oh, yeah. watching Jim Carrey go through this, it, it's an incredible experience. I don't know. There's like layers to it. Just thinking of what's going on behind the scenes and Dr. seeing how it's when executed. he was writing it was saying, yeah, and then I, I was going to have a scene where his face just goes into a woman's cleavage, but then roll. I was like, ah, those who boobies. Movie. You know, those who boobies. Movie. Uh, or, you know, the those scene where he, like, takes Max's butt up to the who mare and has him kiss it. To <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was going to put it in the book, but the last minute, maybe that doesn't match. Maybe the people who made this are fucking insane. <laughs> and yeah. it's a Ron Howard movie, isn't it? That's so yeah. strange to me. Well, it's uh, Ron Howard? Yeah, Ron yeah. Howard directed it. Um, Clearly having no idea what to do, and it paid off big time. People seem to love it, but oh. Yeah, oh, it, it does mean. have a special place. Like, it's just such a weird movie. It's so bizarre, but I understand why. Like, logically, yeah, I would definitely put it <laughs> next to Elf. <laughs> like, I would give it a C. But I'm for Jim C. Carrey, I'd give it a B. I'm in C, Man, it, so but if you guys drag it down to a D, I would not be offended. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this movie was pretty bad, but man, Jim Carrey, he was excellent. I, I mean, that, that's fair. He's acting through all that stuff, but it's like, I don't know. Yeah. Everything else is just... <laughs> so we got two Ds uh, and two C B ishes I guess. Um, mm -hmm. All right, what, what do we do then? Let's I mean, we could put it, it to a chat oh. vote. Yeah, we could oh, put yeah, it to sure a chat vote. Let's see what the chat says. C or D. Those Let me put a poll. Options. Yep, those <laughs> are the only two <laughs> options. The poll is going to be... Don't put S in there. <laughs> no, the I'm only <laughs> going to... Hold on, I, I haven't... I haven't put the poll up yet, chat. You will see the poll, okay? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Give me a minute. Give me a second. This is happening live. Give it a minute. Live action. 
Hello? You just Sorry, hold, hold I can't type right now. Hold on your horses. Grinch. Hold on your horses. Your only choices bed. are C yeah. or D. No additional votes with, uh, votes with your awesome <laughs> awards. Two minutes. Go. <laughs> it should be at the top of your chat. It should be at the top of your chat. Um, Let me read some of these bit messages while the mm, good uh, idea. numbers come in. Alan, thank you for the 100 bits. I would put the Jim Carrey in S tier. S Aha. for shit. <laughs> Ah, okay. That's fair. That's a good one. That's fair. I know, guys. Thank you for the 50 bits. Doug, did you mean I want a dog for Christmas, Charlie Brown? Yes. That's the one, the more recent one uh, that I was thinking of. And yeah, I guess that is a Christmas special because it's right in the title, isn't it? So yes, I think that's at, at, they've made at least three Charlie Brown Christmas special. Everyone knows the one. Um, I thought it was just two, but I guess it was three. Hmm. That Disney nerd, thank you for the 50 bits. The Grinch describing Doug's feelings about this film. Hate, 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 double hate, loathe entirely. <laughs> you know, I'll give the movie this. It did result in the creation of those great Grinch actors at Universal Studios who yeah. are roasting all the kids in that makeup. Those are legit great. <laughs> like, and they like deserve some good awards man because their improv skills are really do good they have to do it like through the makeup and everything so it's like i will give it that <laughs> yeah alexander thank you for the 50 bits five o'clock solve world hunger tell no one <laughs> oh real quick have you seen i don't i don't know how to feel about this but it's just remind me of it my wife showed me these tiktok videos of people dressed up like the Grinch, like going into their kid's house and stealing their presents and the kid's reaction. It's like, no, no, no. And like, they're all just having a heart attack. And it's so mean, but it's so funny. <laughs> but my favorite is that one just comes in, like he trips, he falls in and the kids are going, ah, ah. And he tries to get up, he falls again. And the kids are going over and they're like hitting him. And he's getting up and he's pushing the kids away. And he runs over and you think he's gonna take like some of the gifts and he just grabs the whole tree. And he's out what? The with the kids Whoa. shouting, I hate you, I hate you. It's one of the funniest like 10 seconds I've ever seen in my life. I've yeah. never seen this. Yeah, no, just type in like, guy dressed up like Grinch steals trees, steals, you know, gifts, whatever. There's like a ton of these and they're so cruel. <laughs> they're so funny. Uh, oh, C no, has one. Like... So, uh, oh, it goes into no, C. No, no. You know, it, I mean, Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah, you know, Jim Carrey. General Kenobi, thank you for the 50 bits. Is it on record that Doug likes Jim Carrey Grinch better than Mike Myers Cat in the Hat? Ooh. I mean, yeah, <laughs> but, you know, how big a, a leap is that? I, I, I don't, I, I, I don't, just don't. DJ Lull5, thank you for the 50 bits. Did you guys see the Christmas Prince movies? So much cringe, but they embrace the cringe. The point is the cringe. Oh, yeah. I love Christmas Prince. <laughs> oh, 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 I love them. Aren't there two? Aren't there are. I haven't seen the second one. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it, it's just as beautifully bad. I, I love those Christmas rom-coms, they are hilarious. And there is a right and wrong way to do them. That's what's so funny. I feel like when you get one that doesn't quite have it figured out, like the pacing or how corny it's supposed to be, it's like, eh, let's find another one. There are a dime a dozen. And when you find the one, the, I'm not gonna say select few because they do have that formula down. It's like so exciting when you find one that's just so bad, it's so much fun. And they know it, you're right. They are 100% aware of it. Chris Kringle, thank you for the 50 bits. The Jim Carrey Grinch is the definition of so bad, it's good. It's obviously a very bad adaptation, but man, it's so entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> you say that, but like for years, people are like, no, it's like legit, really good, really good. Anytime I bring up like a handful of those scenes, they're like, yeah, but come on, Jim Carrey. They're like, Malcolm, but Jim Carrey, come on. Yeah. But like they, they totally block out all the just awful horrendous it's really bad but it adds to it it's like <laughs> this is a jim carrey world it's so crazy and chaotic it's a dr seuss world god damn it <laughs> <laughs> dr seuss greater than jim carrey i like jim carrey but dr seuss greater yeah, that's Al fair. alexander thank you for the 50 bits 6 30 dinner with me i can't cancel that again um <laughs> kenton play stuff thank you for the 50 bits technically there's four charlie brown christmas christmas specials there was oh, one yeah. where it was a compilation of shorts focusing on various characters 
Oh, okay. Huh. Didn't know that one either. <laughs> Mumra, thank you for the 50 bits. Is Muppet Family Christmas part of this list? Also, Jingle All the Way, Fred Claus, Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas, and Pee Wee's Christmas Special are faves of mine. Yeah, I, I did my best to find a, a list that was not overwhelming, but also kind of encompassing. So, sorry, yeah, I, I didn't make it. <laughs> Literally, it was Christmas. It kind of got in the way. <laughs> DJ Wall 5, thank you for the 50 bits. Have you seen the wolf from Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, and if so, what do you think of him? I've seen somebody I think is dressed like Death, which I think is a wolf, and just some little snippet. He looks pretty cool. <laughs> I know what, guys. Thank you for the 50 bits. Man Spirited should be on here. It has fantastic songs, made me cry. Not all films can do that. Meanwhile, the Netflix Scrooge film is shit. Yeah, I gotta check that one. I, I hear it's okay. It's, it's good. I, I just heard, saw it. Yeah. I, I haven't heard it's like phenomenal, but that's what they're saying. Like, no, it's good. Good songs, good, good, good laughs. It's, it's good. And it's like. I like your good Christmas Carol adaptation, so yeah, I gotta check that out. Alan, thank you for the 100 bits. I will say this about the live-action Grinch. I did like the set and nothing else. Oh, yeah, the set. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say the makeup. With, with the makeup on the Grinch. Everyone else was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, the, the Grinch it won an good. Oscar for makeup. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. That's totally fair. <laughs> okay, moving on to Claws. I've never uh, seen this one, actually. I didn't get to see um... it. I don't think hey, I've seen you, this either. Guess it's up to me. Well, I mean, I, I feel like Chad will kill me if I don't say S tier. <laughs> but but it, 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 it's somewhere in between S and A. Uh, the only reason I put it in A is because the main character can be a little too annoying sometimes, but that's the idea. He's supposed to change. He's, he's kind of like a person who groove a little bit. But uh, it's really good if you haven't seen it. Uh, the animation's really good. It's a good story. Um, let's put it up with... Yeah, so if Arthur Christmas is up there, we should get Claws up there too. All right, there we go. Yeah, it, it is. Re it is really good. It's definitely worth checking out. I gotta okay. see it. It was either that or Arthur Christmas. So I picked Arthur Christmas from. The and, and I did tell you to see Arthur Christmas, because <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I do think that's better. <laughs> DJ Lol Five, thank you for the fifty bits. What would be the worst Christmas rom com you've ever seen in your life? So much that you would claw your eyes out and scream out in cringe. <clears throat> like like one that I don't enjoy because it's like. The worst is probably that holiday in handcuffs, but that's why it's so great, because it's so terrible. Uh, one that's legit bad, like hard to sit through. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably I forget know. it. That's the thing. The worst ones are forgettable. Um, right. So I forgot it. Right. I've seen a whole bunch of those Hallmark, uh, some of those Hallmark Christmas ones, and I couldn't tell you. The bad ones, I couldn't tell you shit about. <laughs> yeah. I know it, guys. Thank you for the 50 bits. You know what would be a good idea? A Christmas Carol is told by an anth by anthropomorphic animals. That yeah. must have been. Wait, Mickey's Christmas Carol. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We are on, I think that's the uh, remake of Miracle on yeah, 34th Street. This is the Mara Wilson one. Yes, the Mara yeah. Wilson one. Okay. So do, I, you, do you guys no. remember? Uh, <laughs> do you guys remember this at all? Because I did see oh, it, yeah. but like when it first came out, and I don't remember that much about it. I'm it's, with you, Walter. Uh, it, the um, acting is what sells it the most uh, from uh, Attenborough. It, he's a really great Santa. Um, everything else is very okay. Um, it, it, kind to sometimes bad, like the bad Santa in it is uh, pun intended. Uh, it, it's kind of annoying, <laughs> but. Um, I guess I would put it in like B, C, something like that. Probably B. B is probably fair. Sure. Okay. And right. what up, Malcolm? Did you see it or no? No, I, I haven't. It's okay. just been so long. So B? Mm. Yeah. I'm fine with B. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, Jamie, thank you for the 50 bits. If you guys haven't seen Bill Murray's Scrooge, just my favorite Christmas movie. Also, this is my first time seeing Walter on here. Thanks so much for Batman and Twilight Zone months, as I was a huge fan of both shows. Great work, Channel Awesome. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Thank yeah. Master and yeah, we've seen Scrooge. <laughs> Master yeah, Xander, awesome. thank you for the 95 bits. Will there be a worst Christmas movie list with Rhapsody uh, Street Kids? There will oh, not be. Man. There will not be. Yeah, I don't even know. That'd be I've seen a lot of bad Christmas too. movies, but yeah, uh, it's like there there's so many. Like, how could you even like pick them? Yeah. Why don't we rate them on their badness? Like S tier is like really bad. <laughs> yeah. Like, S tier bad. S does stand for shit in this game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're on the original miracle on 34th Street. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, That's... I, I put that in A. I, yeah. I do like that one. Mm-hmm. I would I agree. Ask, I gotta ask you guys, did, did you see this when it, in black and white, or did you see it when it was colorized? Because this is one of the big movies that was like, we've colored this film that was in oh, black really? and white. I've seen both because of my mom. <laughs> really? Okay. No, I've just seen the black and white one. I think I've seen both versions, but I mean, <clears throat> this is this this is another big like mainstay of Christmas in terms right. of film mm-hmm. and stuff. Um, I would yeah. say high A for this. I would say A for sure for Miracle on 34th yeah. Street. Mm. How about you, Malcolm? Yeah, yeah, definitely A plus. I almost want to give it S tier, but that there be have so many S tiers. Right. <laughs> That's okay. We can love Christmas I mean, here. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> you can have an S tier. There's always something where I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of with you. I'm almost like, oh man, this is almost like, phenomenal perfect but i'm like i can never quite explain something always holds me back from saying it i don't know what it is there's always it's one of those things i can never quite explain but there's always something that stops me from saying you know like adoring it you know what i mean like watching it every year kind of thing mm-hmm. right yeah yeah kenton plays stuff thank you for the 50 bits this isn't a question but i just want to say thanks to doug that i own riff tracks christmas shorts blu-ray i love the jokes in there and i think my favorite segment is the one with weird al Oh, yeah. Oh, I I watch those every year, too. They're so funny. That Disney nerd. Thank you for the 50 bits. As someone who watches the original Miracle on 34th Street, I'd put it in A tier. It's message of Christmas consumerism. Super relevant today. (laughs) Fair. That's fair. What's the most well-known scene from that, though? It's got to be the beard pull. Yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Or the, or the cane at the end, that's probably... Mm. It, but that's a spoiler, so yeah, I guess maybe. <laughs> I mean, I think a spoiler on Miracle on 34th Street would be fine, yeah, Doug. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, like, enough people, like, probably don't share it as much as, like, the beard pull because it's like, well, it's kind of giving away the ending. But yeah, that's always, like, those are the two images that jump in my head when I think of that movie. That Disney nerd, thank you for the 50 bits. My biggest issue with it is just the pacing. So many scenes go on for too long, and it drags the film down. You know, I was just thinking that, too. I was like, I think it's a pacing thing when I couldn't nail it. And then I'm thinking, like, maybe it's just, like, kind of how long it is. And to say, like I said, the, how long some scenes go. So I, I think you're onto something there. Well, this came out in, what, 1940, early 40s? Um, is it? Maybe? I can't remember. I, I want to say 40s. It, I don't think it's 30s. But, yeah, it's got to be in the 40s sometimes. But, I mean, like, pacing back then was so different. I mean, like, you could say the same thing about It's a Wonderful Life, but... The, like the characters are so interesting in that movie that you don't oh, yeah. really no, it's feel still the length, right? But a lot of films from back then, like I mean, pacing changes as we, you know, as film has evolved. Yeah. So, you know, that could be a, a count against it from a modern perspective. But I doubt people were talking about that when it came out. Chad yeah. is saying it was 1947. Okay. Oh yeah, it's like much more drawn out. All right, we're on to the Polar Express. I'm very curious Polar about Express. Uh, I put it in B. I'm very middle of the road on Polar Express. And like, I, I, I do think it works. I think there's enough scenes that pull it through and the atmosphere and stuff like that. But um, I, it feels like it already declared itself a Christmas classic even before it came out. You know what I mean? It's just like, yes, we're going to make the next big, beautiful, wow Christmas film. And everyone's hearts are going to be, you know, warmed and melting and stuff. And it just has that air about it the whole way through. And I'm just like, calm down, movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but, but, but it is good, especially taking a book that's not very long. It's a very simple idea. I, I think that's a... For the most part, that's a good way to expand a story. Like, go off of that and not the Grinch, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I mean, I saw this, when did this come out? This was early 2000s, right? Something like yeah. that, um, yeah. I think so. so. I was still, like, you know, I was pretty young when this came out. Um, and it was it was one of those first motion capture animated films, right? This is Robert Zemeckis and everything. Mm-hmm. It you know, brought us the Christmas Carol as well. So, I mean, it's special for that. Um I, I just think being one of those first ones and kind of the wow factor when you first see it way back when. Um, I have a cousin who absolutely loves this movie and he's going to hate me for this, but I'm going to put it at a B. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm inclined to agree. The wow factor does come from like the use of technology incorporated into the movie, mm-hmm. I feel like. Without that, I get, yeah, you know, the story. the story's all right. <laughs> right, the story's all right. And I love Tom Hanks, though, too. I mean, yeah, Tom Hanks. like him as the bum on top of the uh, the train. Like, I think that's his best character. 
my family is a Polar Express family. We watch this every year, ever since it came out in 2004. The soundtrack has been on, is always a Christmas staple. I know all the I do songs. Like the music. Mm -hmm. But I, I guess I would still put it at an A because I know that it isn't the best Christmas movie. But dang, my family loves Polar Express. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but everyone else says B, so we can do B. <laughs> <coughs> Didn't you say you knew someone or went on one of those like Polar Express train rides where like they do yep. like the songs and the dancing and stuff yep. like that? Like mm -hmm. that, honestly, that that sounds a little cooler than the movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my uh, like, one of my college friends was, was the played the conductor on the official WB sanctioned because mm -hmm. for a little uh -huh. while like there was these unsanctioned Polar Expresses and then the WB came down hard on them. Isn't it Warner Brothers did the Polar Express? I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they, they got a lot of cease and desists. Um, so then there was like one officially sanctioned one out of Chicago and my friend was the conductor on it for like years. Oh, that's probably an yeah. honor, man. Yeah. Man, for years too. For that's a couple of years, fun. yeah. He was really good at it too, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine, we'll do B. <laughs> <laughs> DCL Coda, thank you for the 50 bits. Miracle on 34th Street is a phenomenal film. Its stage musical adaptation, however, is the absolute worst musical I've ever seen. Script, music, lyrics, all awful. It was written by the guy who wrote The Music Man. Hmm. I, I saw a... Uh... No, no, I, I, no, it wasn't a musical. I saw a stage version of it, though. That was pretty good. I think it was even at the Goodman Theater. Maybe, I could be wrong. But... Uh... It was good, but it was not a musical. So maybe maybe it's not the same one uh, we were thinking of there. Uh, Jamie, thank you for the 50 bits. What are your favorite versions of Christmas Carol? Um, also, it's a ways off, but is Walter going to do the 80s Twilight Zone after the original? Oh, uh, I am not planning on doing the 80s Twilight Zone because I, I would like to move on to do other things. <laughs> but we're going to get through the, the 50s and 60s one. We're going to get every episode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, the George C. Scott is my personal favorite album. Uh, close second is probably the uh, Alistair Sim one. Muppets. It's Muppets. Muppets. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, Tio? That's going to go in when we get there. <laughs> yes. Kenton plays stuff. Thank you for the 50 bits. This is for Walter and Malcolm. What have been your favorite characters to play in Nostalgia Critic? I like Zack Snyder and Bill. I refuse to believe Bill is the finger puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's canon, so you have no choice. <laughs> it's a combination of both. Bill right. is and isn't just the finger Bill puppet. Bill is all of us. Yes, <laughs> right. Addy we are Bill. Four. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, Zack Snyder's hilarious because of the voice. The, when, when I got to do the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, it was really fun, too. So th those two are probably my favorites. Yeah, I, I, I do like playing Bill a lot. And uh, again, I, I just love when we're playing like the, the awesome version of ourselves, just... Mm -hmm how crazy insane we are mm -hmm. it, it it's uh it's fun it's fun getting to see just what other kind of craziness will we'll do all right back to our list here we're at rudolph yay oh. rudolph hmm. ranking bass <laughs> yeah i i, I this hey. is another one there's another one it's been so many years since <gasps> i've seen it really? i really mean, it's delightful. Yeah, I, I don't watch it every year, <laughs> but I, I remember really liking it. I, I would probably put it at the same place as Frosty at, at B. Oh, see, it's an uh, A for me. I like it better than Frosty. I think it's better than Frosty. It is. Um, it is. I, I'm the same. I'm in B. Um, it, hmm. It's. They just don't. They don't speak to me. The uh, Island of Misfit fine. Toys doesn't speak to you. <laughs> Not even I a little. <laughs> I give it an A, like. So yeah, that I mean, if it goes, I guess if it goes an A, I'm not gonna like put up a fight or anything. Because uh, <laughs> guess it's not bad. It's not bad by any means. I just think like you know, yeah, they're fine. They're fine for what they are. I don't know. Also, it, it like, never, it, it never connected with me. It's kind of. I mean, I don't know. I I respect the the epicness of it because at the time, you know, doing all that stop motion puppeting, it's a lot. <laughs> it is cool. I'm glad that it's stop motion. I'm glad that people like, you know, they say, oh, what is that? What is that for? You know, same thing with Nightmare for Christmas. They say, oh, how do they do that and everything? Like, I like it keeps it alive. Um, but yeah, it still doesn't do much for me. <laughs> okay. So, Doug, you're a B. Walter, you're a B. Malcolm, you're A. I'm A. Is, uh -oh. it, is it chat time again? I think it's chat time. Uh, so. yeah. All right. It's chat time again. Hold up. 
was okay what when was rudolph the character made by the way like when when did that enter the <sighs> holiday zeitgeist 50s was it 50s, 50s? was it because of the song was that was that the the first thing yeah yeah the song oh, the, the song was first yeah. okay right. yeah uh, let me see when that first and i think the early pre- uh depictions of rudolph had a blue nose really kind of like the huh. blue santa Oh, I, I don't think so. No, I, th- I th- no, I think it was always the song. Uh, forty nine. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Right over the video. Hmm. Well, not. On. It's a history. Like it's chat. The poll is there. Don't forget to vote. It's above chat. It's, is Rudolph also like a copyrighted property? Like, is 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 he owned by a company or something? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Nineteen forty nine is when the song first came out. Okay. Um, so at the very least, the song is. I don't know if the character is. That's, that's what, a good that's, question. Because Rudolph never shows up in any of these movies. Like it's always the eight, like the classic eight reindeer thing. Well, like, he's Rudolph not canon. It's just a song. Okay. <laughs> we were talking he's about not a movie. in the what history books. About? It's just a... <laughs> he's not canon. He's not Christmas canon. Um, <laughs> but he, but he never he never pops up in anything else. So I I would think that you know like he would be in more stuff if. He was public domain, they, they but put maybe him not. In, they put him in one or two. They usually like kind of as a joke, like just in the background or something like that. But uh, yeah, you're right. It's not. It's not all the time. Um, because the definitive yeah. version have has already been made, and it's this movie right here that chat should all vote should be in the A tier. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody Uh-oh. dare challenge it. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> we dare go against that lore. <laughs> That's a Zeter. Thank you for the 50 bits. All right, Doug, time to confess. Since you don't care for Rink and Bass, what's your least favorite special? Well, it might be on here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Actually, uh, it might be the next one. <laughs> I, I don't think any of them are, like, bad, bad, though, honestly. I mean, it's like, I, I get why people like them. There is a charm to the stop motion and the style and everything. I, I totally get it. Is it an A? We got an yeah, A? Yeah, chat didn't let me down. Thanks, chat. <laughs> Nice. Bell curve. I'm I'm reading about about Rudolph and he is not public domain. No. Okay. So, oh, interesting. I'm trying to see who he was created by uh, the people who made the song, I think. But yeah, somebody owns the intellectual property of Rudolph, so that may be why he doesn't pop up in more movies. Mm. Yeah. Larry, thank you for the nine month subscription. Welcome it. back. Appreciate that. Enjoy your Twitch, thank baby. You. Okay, we're on Rudolph's shiny new year. Yeah, that's probably. I don't think I've delicious. seen this. I have not seen this. So. It's not I, great. I, I, <laughs> no. I saw it, but I, another one been I many even years. heard of this. I, I guess I put it in like C or low B. I mean, yeah, I don't think it's like D material, no, but no. like it's definitely. With, the one of the weakest of these holiday specials here. <laughs> yeah. As good like I, as the Grinch and Elf? <laughs> <clears throat> no, but Grinch should fucking be D. <laughs> <laughs> but other people had other ideas. <laughs> I would have been fine with D. Would have been fine, just saying. And, and that's what you get. That's what you get. That now it's on the same level as Rudolph and the New Year baby. It's weird. <laughs> Doug, I like how you had to like stop yourself from talking and just be like, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> just whenever I think back to it, I'm just like, what, New Year has a baby? Whoa, oh, yeah, okay. Sometimes I might see that like in an ad from the 50s or something, but this is the mascot of the New Year. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're on to this. This this did another weird thing where uh, this is Santa Claus 2. <laughs> right. Before weird. Santa Claus 3. Santa Claus, uh, Santa Claus 2. Santa Claus 2. I have to make a confession, guys. I've only seen the original Santa Claus. I've not seen two or well, three. I feel <laughs> the other one uh, don't the consider very well. Yeah. I feel like um, two, two's okay. Like, it's, it's two, okay. Two, two I would put in the B range if for any other reason Tim Allen's weird robot santa is so strange you kind of got to laugh out of awkwardness but on top of that there is a legit really romantic moment where they just take a little sleigh ride yes i was like, thinking that. 
Mm -hmm. and, and it it's one of the few moments that really stands out. I'm not even like a big, you know, romance guy or anything, but I'm just like, that, that was a really cozy romantic right. scene. I really buy their chemistry and everything. And he, so yeah, so I, I would put it in the B. Right. I think I'm with you on that, Doug, with, with the B. But he, when he makes like, it's like the last of his Santa power, he makes snow um, when they're on that, that sleigh ride. It, it is a really romantic, well done scene. Also, I yeah. do like the scene where he's handing out presents to at like that work party. Um, I thought that came across really well with like the the genuine Christmas. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah, that's cute. So it's like it's it's cute. Oh no, there's a lot of yeah, dumb shit. It's okay. Too, it's but okay. It's like I I remember the good stuff being okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm I'm fine with it. I, I I feel the same way. It carried on the the original fairly well. Just kind of like seeing how they could expand upon this the Santa Claus. I, I thought they got really creative with it. The um, Mrs. Claus. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and y'all, I'm telling you, I mean, I don't want to say it's great because it's not great, but I legit had a good time with that Santa Claus's show. I, I thought it was oh, a really... Oh, really, Doug? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I liked it. Uh, I really liked it. it. It was like a cozy Christmas uh, dad joke. I loved it. <laughs> uh, I, I really liked one episode, the, the Yuleverse episode. I thought was great. Uh, yeah, the, that was cool. Yeah. But everything else I thought was so bad. You didn't get into the world or anything? I thought that the, 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 Noel, the Noel character, I think, it, like, that was... He is obnoxious. I hate the shit I've ever out of seen. him. Oh, He's goodness. really bad. His but, wife is great. I think that elf was was really, like, kind of stole some of the show. Um, but, man, no, nah, I... Oh, it, it, it's like sub-Disney Channel type stuff. I, I hate it. Um, really? Oh, that's yeah. so funny. I really like it. <laughs> I, think, I think that's another case where it should have been a movie. Because you have like the the good main idea in there, but it's it's just stuff with so much crap that does not have anything to do with the main storyline that it just gets overbloated and a waste of time. Like five episodes or six episodes, you need to tell that story. No, it, you could have done it in a movie. They could have Obi Wan did not make it a show, just make it a movie. Probably right. would have worked better. <laughs> M. So. Tappen, thank you for the 50 bits, almost <laughs> reading our minds because they asked Doug, "Did you finish Santa Clauses and what did you think of it?" <laughs> See above. I like. I'm I'm definitely not going to act like it's flawless or perfect. There's a lot of dumb shit in it, but uh, I don't know. I, I like that world. I like the humor. Uh, I, th I thought it worked okay. Walter hates Christmas, so he did not enjoy <laughs> it. <laughs> JV, thank you for the 50 bits. Just wanted to say thank you. Oh, sorry. Just wanted to thank Doug and your awesome team. I found you through AVGN and I've watched every episode. I watch YouTube stuff mostly instead of TV shows. You, AVGN, Cinema Snob, thanks so much for all the entertainment and uh -huh. happy holidays. Awesome, thank, thank you so you. much. Aww. Thank you. Kenton plays stuff. Thank you for the 50 bits. I am 100% with Walter on the Santa Clauses. Episode 5 was the best. Everything else was, eh. I, you know, I get it. I feel like that type of humor especially isn't going to win everyone. There's something about the timing and the pacing and that that just made me, like, it was, if something didn't work, they just went on to the next one so quickly that it, it just got a laugh out of me. I don't know. Something about it made me giggle quite a bit. <laughs> All right, well, on to the Santa Claus 3. <laughs> <laughs> now, if we want to talk about really not funny. Uh, no, I think it's like, <laughs> Santa Claus 3 is, I, I think it's someone was talking about it with Grinch. It's so not funny, it kind of becomes funny again. It is so awkward. Who is, I kind of love it. Martin Short. Martin Short. Yeah. Martin Short. Oh, yeah, that is him. He's playing Jack and, Frost. He has like a big musical number when he steals the Santa Claus powers and stuff. Yeah. yeah, and and Alan Arkin is in it just like they just always seem to leave the camera on too long, and the actors are just standing there dying, just waiting <laughs> for someone to say cut. Yeah, and it, it's kind of amazing because of that, but it is really really bad. Uh, so I mean, it's it's got to go like C or D tier, but like, <laughs> but I still recommend you see it if you love cringe movies. <laughs> <laughs> I I put it at D for sure. Malcolm? Uh, yeah. Like, I think it would go in the D. Okay. <laughs> All right. There we go. <laughs> Our first D. Our first D. Thanks, Santa Claus 3. The Grinch is above Santa Claus 3. I just can't. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Santa Claus is really bad, so. Speaking of Santa Claus, uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. B. <laughs> yeah, this one's like B, C one? for me. Santa Claus is coming oh. to town. It's another uh, stop motion. Of all the, the Rankin and Bass type yeah. stuff, like I remember this one a little bit more. 
Um, so I'd be high B, low A for this. Okay. Um, so e- either way, one of those two letters. I'm fine with B because I I like it as much as I like Frosty. Mm. Looking where else Frosty is in the in this mix. Hmm. Do you, so, you like that so, one a little more than Frosty? I don't know. Frosty and Santa Claus is coming to town. I like about equally. I I I'd honestly give it a B. It had an interesting, like it just told the story of Santa, mm-hmm. Saint Nick. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, doing the weird reverse thing again. Uh, Christmas Chronicles <laughs> two. I've oh, I, I haven't seen a Christmas Chronicles movie. I don't know these. I movies. didn't. Right. I didn't see two. Um, it's. I, okay, this one is rough because I, I kind of want to see where everyone puts one. But uh, so it's not as good as one, but it's not awful. It's like, oh, that exists, you know, kind of thing. It's just kind of doing the same thing again with a few little changes. Uh, I don't. I guess somewhere around B or C. Let's. Man, that's rough. Because like Christmas Chronicles, I give a B, and so the sequel, I feel like I'd have to go lower. I'd have to go C. So mm-hmm. I. I I guess C. Yeah, okay, on the same level as Elf, I, I, I guess I'd say C. Anyone else seen it? All right, cool. C? I have not seen this, yeah. All right, C it is then. The original oh, yeah. Christmas Chronicles. So I did see I this. I have not seen this either. There's a I, like, there's so many uh, people telling me to watch this. It's such like a groundswell of like, you had to see Christmas Chronicles on Netflix and all that stuff. And I watched it and I disliked it heavily. D. <laughs> 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 all right uh, ooh, i i i think it's fine i think just a b you know it's about what i got for kurt russell as santa claus you know billy hahn as mrs claus it's like it's i think it's fine him doing the little song number is cute um yeah no, b <laughs> interesting we've got a bd split here because wait Malcolm, welcome did you, did you say you've seen it no i i have not seen it oh, oh shit okay Man, that's like a heavy. I mean, I guess we could go see. I'll say if we put it in C, I'm not going to be like, no. (laughs) I just the thing that I didn't like about it the most is that it's trying to be like this really big budget kind of movie, but it doesn't have the budget to be a big budget movie. So it's taking all these weird shortcuts. And I love how all these Hallmark type movies that don't have that type of budget are always set in Chicago, but they're not in (laughs) clearly not Not in Chicago. Chicago. Mm. Um. So no, I, I I really didn't like this movie. I because I, I went into it with a high expectation as well. So I think that also affected my view of it. But I mean, D, it, it was trying to be something that it clearly wasn't. See, that's so funny because everyone I knew went in like, well, that looks like shit. That was okay. Right. <laughs> I mean, when I saw the trailers for it and stuff, it was like, yeah, this doesn't look like something to be interested in. But so much positive, um, like so many positive reviews and word of mouth, got my expectations higher. Interesting. Where are you going? All right. Well, we'll put it in the C then. That's the ground between B and D. So there we go. As the alphabet goes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. As the alphabet goes. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that Disney nerd. Thank you for the 50 bits. Christmas Chronicle is one of the most okay Christmas movies I've seen. Kurt Russell is good enough as Santa, but has some problematic messages about doing bad things and getting away with it, even for it, even. Even if it's for a good reason. Yeah, but that stuff, I the troublemaker and me kind of goes, yeah, go ahead. In a Kurt Russell Santa Claus movie, I think <laughs> about a pass. Kenton plays stuff, they gave her the 50 bits. I know they're not on here, but where would you rank the prep and landing shorts? I'd say the first is A tier, the second is S tier. What is what is the prep the landing and, and landing? I don't know if I know what that is. Prep. Oh, I, I, this was, uh, it's this little Disney. It's just these cute little shorts. Um, I don't know. B, I guess. Just very middle of the road. <laughs> I think I've only seen one of them. I don't think I saw the other one. Okay, we're on to the anime, the CG Grinch. I didn't see this uh, one. This is with, I um... saw it in theaters. Oh, did you? Oh, I fell asleep. D. <laughs> I'm somewhere between C and D. There's two things I like. When he's actually stealing Christmas, the animation is kind of fun and inventive. And I do like 
there's a nice little awkward ending where they invite him over to actually like have Christmas and like he, he's kind of the black sheep in there. He's trying to make conversation, but people are welcoming. It's a nice enough little scene that I'm like, okay, I don't I don't know if I can go full D on it, but uh but if it did go in D, I wouldn't need that. No, it has to be in C, because the Jim Carrey one is far worse. I'm going to say C. Oh, yeah, well, if you want to look at it that way. I mean, I'm just going off of what I saw in the movie theater. Mm. So. And which wasn't a lot, because I kept falling asleep from how boring it was. <laughs> but also it the was music. The Pharrell music the entire time. Uh, I really didn't like that. I thought that <laughs> really ruined what at least could have been somewhat passable. Um, like the mm. atmosphere is ruined by some of that music. So <laughs> that's why I say D. I'm sorry, there was only a couple people in chat who did this. I've said this on stream before, I don't know what it is, but one of my favorite memes in the whole world is people misspelling and mispronouncing uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, and there was just a couple people who put those, like, <laughs> alternative Benedict Cumberbatch names in chat, and I just, I just can't. I don't know what it is. I lose it every time. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so... Doug wants it to be in C. Walter, you want it to be in D? Yeah. Okay. Malcolm, have you ever seen it? Oh, we read it again. Is he mute again? Oh, yeah. man. Ah. So then we may need to... No, no, I'm I'm oh. here. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I just had to make sure that this... Like, my microphone settings are all over the place. It's like hissing and popping. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, but... um, Okay, so I have not seen this movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Back What's to it me with you. No, it's <laughs> it's the Grinch. The illumination the Grinch. Oh, oh, the Illumination Grinch. No, I definitely yeah. have not seen that. No. I had no interest in seeing. No, I have not. I have not. Okay, okay. we may need to do, do a, a chat vote, vote. Yeah, between uh, C and D for this one. They're totally. It, it would be kind of funny to spite me. It would be kind of funny if, if it was D and the, the uh, Jim Carrey one. That was lower either. than Jim Carrey. <laughs> okay, chat. There it is. It's there. Only one vote, and it's for C. Oh, now it's even. Okay, this is fascinating to me. Let's read some of these bit messages then while that's happening. Yeah. Uh, that Disney nerd. Thank you for the 50 bits. I don't care what anybody says. Grinch 2018 is the worst Grinch movie. Shut up, Doug. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Well, now's your chance to get in there and make it canon. <laughs> that, that movie's the canon worst. for Channel Awesome's tier for life. Yeah, Channel Awesome's canon. Talking to Carl, thank you for the 50 bits. I would give Benedict Cumberbatch Grinch an A. I love the look and Cumberbatch performance for what it was, but I think the marketing was brilliant. Look up the billboards for this. They're hilarious. All right. I think I will. Alexander, thank you for the 50 bits. Christmas Day is in our grasp so long as we have the screaming goat meme. <laughs> huh. Alan, thank you for the 100 bits. Muppets Christmas Carols, S tier, baby. Come on, Channel Awesome peeps, don't let me down. We'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. Wild Katarn, thank you for the 100 bits. Doug, you should watch the mean one. It's a horror movie parody of The Grinch. Just say you've seen the worst adaptation. Uh, I have not seen it yet, but I've seen uh, ads for it. All right, these billboards are really funny. <laughs> the Gr it's just the Grinch saying, like, asshole things to different cities, but, like, the L.A. ones are the best. Stop moving to Los Angeles. It's full. Of course you'll make it as an actor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's one vote of difference, chat. Come on, chat. C versus D. Let's go. A few seconds left. What's going to win? Uh... Oh, it's even though Jambo just lost. Oh, oh D is pulled ahead. Oh, it's back. It's tied. Uh -oh. it's tied. Oh, D. D's oh, coming out. Oh, oh. It's D. <laughs> what is it? Is it D? By one vote. By, By one, one vote, it's D. <laughs> wow. Damn. Uh, I, I, I don't care because it, it has introduced me to these billboards. I like this one on the subway stage. It says, I'm sure you'll catch the next one. <laughs> Honestly, this is justice, I'd say. Uh, that the movie theater says your date is just here for the popcorn. I don't know why these really make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm contractually it. obligated to be here. <laughs> okay, I got stuff. I put gluten in your smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> I thought those were really funny. 
Seeker Gatherer, thank you for that 11 month subscription. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Chris Kringle, thank you for the 50 bits. As bad as the Jim Carrey Grinch is, I'd rather watch it over the Illumination Grinch because it at least wasn't boring. I mean, it is boring. I'm not going to act like it's not. Um, I, I mean, by much rather fall asleep and have a pleasant dream than have a nightmare from the Jim Carrey one. So that's just my thing. <laughs> Chat. I love you so much. Master Xander, thank you for the 95 bits. Bender Duck Cobblestone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Dieter. Thank you for the 50 bits. Benedict Cumber Sack. <laughs> wow, Cucumber Sack. Cucumber Sack. It says Benedict. Cucumber oh, Benedict Cucumber Sack. Benedict Cucumber Sack. Cucumber sack. Wow. I'm sorry. I don't know why those give me every time, but I, I the mispronouncing better to cover batch on purpose is just the best. Um, Link Roz, thank you for that prime subscription. Welcome. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kenton Play Stuff, thank you for the 50 bits. Doug, what's your thoughts on the Green Eggs and Ham series? I haven't seen it, but I've heard mostly good things <laughs> about it, especially considering most Dr. Seuss modern adaptations are debatable. Uh, I haven't seen it. Um, I don't know if we're going to get around to seeing it, but I've heard that too. I heard it's actually pretty good. Uh, we'll see. I still have a lot of stuff to catch up on just for, you know, me wanting to watch it. I even for work, just stuff to watch, but, uh, maybe I'll get around to it at some point. All right. We're on to the Muppets Christmas Carol. Hey. It's S for me. I watch this. We watch this like almost every year. I love Muppets Christmas Carol. It's S. In my heart, Honestly, I want to say S. Like it, it, in it, my it heart, calls to and me. then say it. Uh, <laughs> I, I want. To. I, I mean, like, is is it? I, I'm I'm trying to to think if it if it's really S tier. Like, yeah. is it, is it S? I feel um, like it is. It's I like, love I, it's so much Michael Caine. <laughs> Michael Caine. Michael uh, Caine. Um, <laughs> Ebenezer Scrooge. Uh, yeah. I gotta go S. Uh, I'm going S. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll say A. I don't think it's... <laughs> wow! But I didn't grow up with Hot it. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, I, a, a tier, not S tier. Oh my god! Hot <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But, um... No, it, it's never been, like... Maybe because... I get why people say, like, oh, I love it because it's probably the one that it was introduced to them and kids yeah, can be introduced and it. It, it's great to introduce kids through that way but um yeah but then i don't know i feel like people are just like and that's the definitive one no it's not it's still what muppets. Is the definitive one i mean like it's there's been so many adaptations muppets uh, well, <laughs> now, now that is true in my opinion there is not a definitive one which is interesting but uh but if there's going to be one, it's not going to be the goddamn one. <laughs> it's actually the uh, one of the most faithful adaptations. Muppets Christmas Carol is. Okay, it's not the most. Because I heard the director saying that, too. I'm like, It's no, no, one no. of the at most. The no, no, no. A at the time, it was one of the closer ones. But there have been much more faithful ones uh, around that time. That came out around the time when everybody was like, we got to get, like, word for where we got to be the most... Because there is no definitive one, will be the definitive one. They try to put in as much dialogue from the story as possible. But it's like, there's more definitive ones out there. Uh, but it, it's impressive how much they did include in there. Yes, and they didn't is. have to at all. And, and I really give credit. That's why I say A tier, but I, I can't quite say. If for any other reason, I just love when Michael Caine... First of all, when he's like looking at the grave, like Ebenezer oh, Scrooge, oh no! The music's like wah wah. It's not like a big holy <laughs> shit moment. It's like ah, it sucks, whatever. Like that should be like a big holy <laughs> fuck moment. And then there's one scene always drives me nuts where Michael Caine's outside. They're looking through the window, you know, Bob Cratchit's house, like stalkers. And at some point, like Kermit says something. It's like to Mr. Scrooge. He just goes Bob Bob Cratchit. And it's so awkward and it's so weird that just lost me a Scrooge. <laughs> if you ever watch it, just be like, what, what, why was he? Yeah, he just says so weird. And then that little dance he does with his the dance. dance. Like it's turned into a great gif. He's talking like this. I, I, and <laughs> <it's off. laughs> that's kind of charming for how awkward it is. Shaking Wait, Walter, do that again? He's moving his arms. Like it's great. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 I but I do like it. It is good. I do like. It. I can't say S tier, but it doesn't matter because I think everyone else is saying S tier. So fuck me. Yeah, there's three <laughs> S tiers and one A tier. So guess where yeah, it goes, Doug? Me. 
Woo! Right there. In the ass! Right there. <laughs> In the ass. Cats and play stuff. Thank you for the 50 bits. Some men, some men, Master Bruce, just want to watch Christmas burn. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just want to watch the Yule log burn. Right. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, Christian Bale was Bob Cratchit. I mean, that'd be evil. <laughs> oh, man. Don't oh, professional. Us, everyone. <laughs> Why didn't he bless us, everyone? Why didn't he bless everyone? Delton Man, thank you for oh, the 95 bits. Bot bits to say, fuck spirited. Awful Christmas movie. Honorary <laughs> D tier for me. Really? I just watched it a couple of days ago. Yesterday? Oh my god, that was yesterday. I just watched it yesterday. A <laughs> couple um, days ago yesterday. <laughs> I just, you know, I couldn't believe yesterday was the day after Christmas, but it was. Um, I didn't think it was D tier. I would say it was like A or B. Oh. I, I really enjoyed Spirited. I, I gotta check it. A lot of people have told me to check it out, so I, I gotta do that. Talking of Carl, thank you for the 50 bits. Who would Liam Neeson play in Muppets Christmas Carol? <laughs> Jacob Marley. <laughs> yeah, actually, what a terrible pun. <laughs> Perfect. Amazing. All right, we are on to the nativity story. I haven't seen this one. I haven't seen it either. Mm, I, I love it. Yeah. The two Christians have not seen the nativity story. Well, I... A fake Christian has I actually really like it. I when it came out, I think it because it came out after the passion, everybody was like, Oh look, Hollywood's trying to make this a thing of D, you know, kind of thing. I'm like, I think this movie's perfectly fine. I love the three wise men in it. Uh I believe uh Joseph and Mary's uh romance in it and stuff like that, and the love they have for each other. Um the only thing that's a little weird is like the for lack of a better way of putting it the religious aspect is almost kind of muted which is a little weird like the oh. angel comes and says you are pregnant and they kind of like it's almost like they want to hurry it up even like the birth is like yeah yeah speed it up speed it up it's not about this yes it is <laughs> so that's a little weird but uh i, I still really like that i like the journey like i said i really like the three kings in it. they really gave them these good personalities uh in it so I dug it. I, I thought it's a good movie. Um, yeah, I, I wish it was talked about. But it's not phenomenal, but it's like I think it's pretty damn good. So where are we, where should we put it, Doug? Oh, I, I put an A. I think it's good. A. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I like it. I don't know. It's like name another movie that is just about the nativity. You know that like anyone knows about, and it's like yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's a good one. All right. Okay, we're on to the Nightmare Before Christmas, which, yeah, is it, yeah. Is it a Christmas movie? I mean, I guess it is a Christmas movie. I should say yes, is it, it, it is. Drop them right in that S tier. Right? Uh, I mean, it's man. it's tough because it's like, yeah, just as a movie. I mean, everything that it's had a big impact on and stuff, and like, but like a Christmas film right. is it like an S tier Christmas them, film? It's got the Christmas elements. Yeah, no, and I, yeah, I don't know. The more I think about it, yeah, because it is the idea of like valuing what Christmas is when someone else tries to turn it into something else. So I guess that's it. That's in there. Um, yeah, it's it's such an inversion of you know a, a Christmas story, you know, because uh, it's like the, he wants to you know celebrate this this mysterious holiday to him. Like all he's ever known is Halloween. So I, I think, mm. it, I, I think it's an interesting, I, I've always really liked this movie. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I like it too. Um, I guess S or A tier. I guess S tier. It feels weird not putting it in S tier. You know what I mean? It's like nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I would probably go with an A, solid A. I would go with a solid A as well, Walter, to be honest with you. Like, if, I if love wanted... this movie, but I think Isn't given the spread Christmas that we it? have right now, I would say it's A. I, okay. I'd well, be fine with either an S or an A. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to fight it. I mean, it's like, mm, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, A, A is fine. I get it. I get okay. it. All right. <laughs> okay. A it is. Okay, the original Ooh. Santa Claus. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was loud. 
What the fearsome that? face of darkness. Oh my God. That one was loud. Oh, bro. <laughs> how, how many did they send? Seeker Gatherer, thank you for the six dollars and sixty six cents. <laughs> Appreciate that. Okay. Scrooge yeah, is not on this list. I guess tis character. the season for hell to freeze over. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't make this. I we I tried my best. It doesn't have every movie ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> uh, the Santa Claus. I mean, this movie came out. I think ninety four. This was. I mean, this was. There's a long gap between this first one and the second movie, and they kind of waited for it to become a Christmas classic before they made that sequel, which. I think kind of degraded the the adult humor in this movie, which is so strong. Bernard is such a great character. Really? Yeah, I, I love this movie. This this is absolutely okay. S tier for me. That's another reason why like this I don't like the series as much is because we originally had this movie that had I think really sharp humor that kids and adults could both appreciate. It was really? Tim Allen at his best. Um, I loved I loved uh, the North Pole in this. Um, I really like the elves. Oh, uh, one room of it? <laughs> what? The, the, the North Pole? They have more multiple rooms. They stay in a room and they go out into the big workshop area. And then I they walk down rooms. in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> you said one room. I proved you wrong. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> uh, I, I really like Charlie in it. The Neil stuff is hilarious. Nice sweater, Neil. Like, all that stuff is great. There's a lot of quotes from the movie. I, I really, really, really like the Santa Claus. It's a Christmas classic in my family. It's an S. Okay. Well, now I see why you don't like the series. Because uh, I think this movie is very... It's okay. <laughs> it's like a cute little family film. I almost never laughed in it, aside from Santa dying. That's really? Just, uh, principle. I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm but, waiting. Um, and they do kind of retcon that in the show. I think that was some bullshit. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know because I like Tim Allen, and I guess I thought there were going to be more adult jokes in it. And uh, when it's like, oh yeah, no, it's more like neutered Home Improvement, which even Home Improvement doesn't have much of a bite to it. I'm like, yeah, okay, but it's it's fine for families. It's cute, it's imaginative enough. So I I don't know. I'm in like a B category for me. I, I never really got that much into it, I, but. I, I think but it again, is. I, like, I, I, I did grow up with it, though. Again, like I, I was right, like a teen, I was a cynical like, teen at that point. Yeah. So I don't know if I was like the right age for it. I, I'd give it an A because it is kind of like the first of its kind in just kind of thoroughly breaking down how Santa Claus works. I thought that was so interesting. Oh, you got to see Santa Claus the movie. It's not good. But you gotta see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> they, they do the same thing. That, that's one of the reasons I liked the show too. I like the breaking down of like how it works and stuff like that, I'm trying to make it feel like a real world. Uh, uh, so yeah, that's uh, talking about the, the Santa Claus series. That's why you like the Santa Claus series. Honestly, not, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that's what I like. That's what I liked in it too. But it's barely focused on. <laughs> it's just like one and a half episodes. Uh, but but the Santa Claus Santa Claus the movie also does that too. But we're getting sidetracked. It's a B for me. I'd give it an A. It's at least I, an A. Eh? Sorry, yeah, Malcolm, I think it's because we like we grew up with it. I think. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Right. We literally just watched this on Christmas, <laughs> but I do think it's fair to give it an A rather than an yeah, S. So Mills oh, yeah. with attitude. <laughs> it starts a little. Bit it's so nineties. So it's so nineties too. I know. 90s. That's probably another reason why I love it so much. Yeah, I, I get fair. It's totally fair. Uh, yeah, it's like the ring finger is becoming more prominent. If you look at the tier list, it looks kind of like. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah the a ring bit. finger. Almost the okay. middle finger, but not quite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That Disney nerd, thank you for the 50 bits. Oh boy, here we go. Nightmare Before, Nightmare Before Christmas is another overrated film in this list to me. The first act is slow and boring. When he becomes Santa and gives people his version of Christmas is a lot of fun. The third act is pretty forced with a pointless boss battle with uh, Oogie. I put it in C. I get the boss battle. And I do, get, I do get people who don't get into the movie because it's written in a very simple, very simple dialogue and stuff like that. There's not many zingers in it and stuff. I, I, I do get that, but I think that's I think that's kind of the idea. I do think it's intentional, but I, I understand why people don't gravitate towards that. They want something with a little bit more bite to it. D that's fair. Disney at they give the hundred bits. This week Santa Claus the sorry, the week Santa Claus came out, Tim Allen had the number one movie, TV show, and book in the US. 
I do remember that. Yeah. My dad had that book. Was it it was like Man with No Pants or something? Like it something was, like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're on to the star. I also have not seen this one. I haven't seen I it. haven't seen it. So no my one's only, seen it. My, Wait, my only it? memory it's called the, the star. star. It's a more recent one. My only memory of it was that there's an animation historian named Jerry Beck, who I'm friends with on uh, Facebook, and he just posted a picture at the premiere. <laughs> I just said, "Oh, uh, Merry Christmas?" Question mark. He just wrote, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> like that was his big thing to say about him. Like, yeah, I, I feel that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, so yeah, I, I've heard anything about it. <laughs> none of us have seen it. No. Nope. Oh, I didn't think this would happen, but I guess we Uh-oh. just got to leave it be then if none of us have seen it. You can put it to a chat vote. That's true. You're right. Yeah, yeah, chat. That's true. <clears throat> D, D, worst thing ever. Oh, my God. Worst movie ever made of all time. It's like, I guess that does mean there's an our nativity movie that apparently gets around. <laughs> Aside so. from the nativity story. Okay. It has started. Oh, and the, the, the whale watcher is Mary, by the way, in the nativity story, uh, for anyone wondering, in case, because more people need to see it. If you're like, oh, where'd that girl from whale watcher go? She went and played Virgin Mary. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> the first vote on this chat poll was a D. The, the instant I put it up, <laughs> D. <laughs> the absolute instant I put it up. And like, I everyone's that. going to vote D, and it's like, you haven't all seen this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Like you didn't even know it existed, but you're probably right. You're probably right. <laughs> probably is a D. And this right. just came out? At like, at, no, it was a while ago, maybe like eight, eh, six, eight years, something like that. Um, it was a bit ago, but uh, yeah, I, I think I did see an ad or two. And I, I think I saw one or two reviews just like, yeah, it's it's not good. It's exactly what you think it is. Oprah was in it. 2017. 2017, really? Gosh. That's a lot newer than I thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. Well, Oprah's Netflix. never in any bad movies. Wrinkle in time. I mean, my God. <laughs> Perfection. Wow. <laughs> the You're giant right. ghost Oprah. Yeah, you were with us, right, Malcolm? Yeah. Because was... there's nobody in the theater, and we just had the biggest laugh watching that yeah, movie. Especially like her... giant Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like her legs fade out towards the bottom of like the She's dress she was on legs yeah <laughs> it was really and they're odd. flying around they're like may we touch your face and she's like you may <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most the- oprah the- thing ever made <laughs> wow i like mordor prime jesus and oprah together at last <laughs> <laughs> Two of the most powerful forces in the universe. I mean, yeah, come on, God and Jesus. It makes sense. Come on, come on. All right, oh, did the D one? Okay, all it's right. That boat. feels right. I've never seen the movie, but that feels right. Okay, feels the, like the year without a Santa Claus. Uh, I'm somewhere in B or C. <laughs> I don't remember that one that well. This I don't is... remember that well. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember this at all. So. I don't know why, but this is like my favorite of the stop motion like Rankin Bass specials. I love the year without a Santa Claus. Santa Claus gets a little I, I... cold, and Mrs. Claus has to take care of everything. I love it. I, I mean, I'm I'm not gonna fight you if you put it in. <laughs> Because <laughs> again, it just leaves a little in that. Be like, yeah, sure, I don't care. <laughs> I think it's for me personally, it is easily up there with Rudolph. Uh, what about you, Malcolm? Have you seen it? Um, this one, I. Uh... Hmm, I'm trying to wait. What's the name of it again? What is the this year one? without a Santa Claus? Santa, Santa Claus Nicole. gets sick. The Miser Brothers are in it. Oh, isn't that, he, isn't that uh, where Heatmeister is from the Earth Out of Santa Claus, yeah, right? Yeah, I've only seen it like, like once or twice. That one, I don't know. I, it didn't really resonate oh. with me that much. Oh my song. gosh! Is this the song? Yeah. Is that I'm Mr. White Christmas, I'm Mr. Snow. Is that what this is from? I'm pretty yeah. sure. No, but the heat, no. My, no, I thought the heat miser comes from there, but the song that you were saying is from like a miser's Christmas or something. Oh, okay. All of these characters appear that... in another movie. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm glad that's not on this list because I'll be honest, I've never seen the Miser's Christmas. <laughs> I just know that scene from Batman and Robin. Right, exactly. Sing it, yes, sing it. So am I the <laughs> only one who would put this as an A? I give it a B. It, <gasps> I, it's like, it's right next to uh, Santa Claus, <laughs> you know? Yeah, the Santa should be together. Yeah, because I, like, I... That Rudolph one was such an epic. It, it was kind this of like This one is a just as good as Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're oh, the only oh, one that thinks it's a lot stronger about it. I mean, that's got to count for something. Well, okay. If I'm the only one who wants it for an A, though, that's fine. So wait, what, Doug, what are you? That was B. B, Walter? I have no opinion. Great. I don't, don't <laughs> Malcolm? remember it all. I was saying, like... I was I was saying B, but you know All I wouldn't right. be mad if it were A. I wouldn't. I'm like, outvoted. Fight. That's Aww. fine. I'm outvoted. That's fine. Quick, Heather yeah, S for a compromise. It. That's the compromise. This is the compromise. <laughs> That's <laughs> the compromise. <laughs> okay, and on to the last one: White Christmas. Mm, I... D. <gasps> <laughs> give it that. F. What? F. Wait, why a D? Walter, that was so intense. My dad loves White Christmas. Because it's yeah. a classic. <laughs> Love this movie. And would play it over and over and over and over. And, and I don't like it. <laughs> I think it's an the, easy uh, A. The sister's easily. song. The sister hey. song makes me want to rip sisters, my ears off. Sisters, oh, sisters. <laughs> How many well, times Walter... do you think I was forced to sing that with my twin sister, and I still love this movie? <laughs> That's good. I mean, you got a bigger talents than I do, because I well, cannot stand White Christmas. Well, um, Walter, I might make you feel a little better. Uh, I can't say D, but um, I'd put it in B. I. I don't get into this movie either. I. I love the opening. I love the ending. And obviously, I like some of the songs. That's about it. I, I don't get into the movie. I, I think most of it's really boring and not interesting. And even the Christmas atmosphere, I think, is almost a little muted in the middle. But only in the middle. The beginning and the ending is great. Uh, if I could just fast forward through all that. I, I'd say this is like an S-tier movie. But um, yeah, I'm on, I'm on a B level. I, I know that's like heathen to say because people love this movie but yeah I, I could not get into it <laughs> I mean Chat. it's like this and it's a wonderful life that like are the older movies that everyone still watches and like generations pass down it's a wonderful life is still great this movie's not yeah Chat. you're killing me here chat devil loner walter forgive your father wally for golly <laughs> this is walter's joker origins <laughs> <laughs> Sisters, sisters, sisters. <laughs> this movie. All right, Malcolm. Oh, Malcolm. <laughs> I, I give it a D. Oh, what? Oh, Malcolm just went me on the D train. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have my own reasons. I, I, I don't want to rain on like... anybody's. Ooh. I don't want to snow on anybody's. <laughs> Tell me why. I'm unplugging the Christmas tree. You ruined my Christmas. Wait, wait, wait. It's just, it's just like, I don't know. Just like the history of the song. It, it's got some sketch history oh, to okay. it. Which, oh, yeah. okay. But that's not White Christmas. That's ho oh, what white, Holiday Oh, just is. White Christmas you're talking about. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, okay. the song White Christmas actually isn't from uh, uh, White Christmas. It's from Holiday Inn or Holiday Hotel? Holiday uh, Inn. Uh, Holiday Inn, yeah, that's what's coming from. I know the scene you're talking about from that movie. Yeah, yeah, you know. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the the minstrel stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. But really, that's not in like, White Christmas. That's, not, that's in Christmas. Holiday Inn. It's in Holiday Inn. I mean, like, it's just the connections to it. It's just like, mm, I don't know. I I don't know. Like this movie always kind of like wrote me you know, a weird in a weird way. But 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 so so now take now just. If it's possible, if you if, I, if I were able to holiday, separate that, whatever. Well, then, yeah, if you just saw this movie on its own, White Christmas, didn't know anything about the history or anything like that, uh, what would you think of it? I I give it a you know like a CB maybe. <laughs> yeah, that that that's where I am too. I can't. It it's so funny. I really thought that was gonna be the outlier. Here. Yeah. <laughs> and here I am, like easy A. It. Everyone loves White Christmas, and y'all are just yeah, devastating. No, no. And I, I know people that love it, but uh, well, here's the thing too. I 
this may play a part. I have not actually seen the whole movie until about five years ago. I, I didn't grow up with it or anything like that. I just knew it was a classic and knew the song. So, and my wife didn't like it, but uh, I was like, oh, I'm, come on. It's a classic musical because she doesn't get into musicals and stuff like that. We sat down. I'm just looking at her like, yeah, I might agree with you. This is not <laughs> doing it for me at all. Um, so, but, but, but I do like the opening and the ending and the songs. So, um, so, I mean, the compromise might be a C. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's yep. right, because we had <laughs> that How did this happen? On the same level like as Christmas now. and Grinch. Right. <laughs> no, that's... Hell yeah. Hell that's, yeah. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that beautiful but, list. But let's be honest, because Ch Chats what got Grinch to see, right? Or do we get it to see? Uh... They got because we were going D or C. Yeah, they were... yeah, they're the ones that they're the ones that just threw in like they're the chaos. <laughs> like, cause just the Grinch being in C is what's like throwing everything off. Like everything else, yeah, I can see that. I can say, wait, Jim Carrey Grinch is in C. Wait, wait, none of this makes sense now. Like all the other choice. If you just move that, everything else would be like, okay, I can see that. I get the wiggle room in that, but that's the one. That that's the chaos card. The chaos card, huh? <laughs> Heather has shut off her Christmas lights. You betrayed her. How could you do this? <laughs> I did. I unplugged the Christmas me. tree. You don't deserve my Christmas, my Christmas joy. I unplugged my Christmas tree. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. All right. I know a lot of that movie, though. I think if we were to talk to, like, the rest of the world, I think, like, You're yeah, crazy. Walter Malcolm would be, like, yeah. <laughs> the outliers here. Yes, Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I mean, they, you know, like, thankfully, they didn't do the actual uh, blackface, but Thank like God. that, they're, yeah. Why, why Christmas, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why Christmas, they didn't do it, you know. Well, they didn't want to hammer in the title too much. <laughs> <laughs> White Christmas. <laughs> when we say white Christmas, we mean a white. We mean white Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just but that is funny because yeah a lot of people do think that the song comes from the movie you would think because it's go away yeah, christmas but I didn't no know that, it's like yeah, then, when they, I, then when they look up the origins and they it's eventually really especially if you do a google image search that image pops up right away mm -hmm. <laughs> just boom yep yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right well wow this ended up being the perfect timing because it is almost eight o'clock yeah. right now we have just a couple more bit messages to read and then um i think I think we're gonna wrap things up here alexander yeah. thank you for the 50 bits dick sean the hippie actor from the producers voiced snow miser oh interesting okay hmm. kenton play stuff thank you for the 50 bits are you gonna do anything with mickey mouse once he becomes public domain next year <laughs> he ain't gonna be public domain i don't get disney will find a way well it's... no nah nah there's already a, not loophole, but basically what's going into public domain is his original design. Like, you can't use, like, mm. the 90s Mickey or, like, a more modern Mickey design or look. It has to be, like, Steamboat Willie Steamboat Mickey. Steamboat Willie Mickey. Mm. I don't know. They'll find something. They'll find a way. Uh, Sorry, I lost my spot. Duddy, thank you for the 50 bits. Now, hypothetically, if Rhapsody Street Kids Believe in Santa were on the list, where would it go? <laughs> oh, S. Obviously, because it's so bad, it becomes good. No, it's D. It's, it's, uh, it's D. It's a D. Mumra, thank you for the 50 bits. Question for the four of you. What's a Christmas movie that isn't on the list that belongs in the S tier? Jingle mm. all the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually. Totally S tier. Die hard. <laughs> there is, like, legit funny stuff in it with Phil Hartman and everything, but, like, the, the weird comedy with Sinbad and, <laughs> Sinbad. and Arnold is so yeah. great. It, it's it so makes bizarre. it. I love it. I love that movie. It's my favorite Christmas movie. It's it's A or S, yeah. I'm not gonna be able to top that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today. Was... Wait, wait. Just to clarify, White Christmas D jingle all the way. S. 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 Sure. So, uh, just so the people watching at home get an idea of the uh, the bar here. <laughs> well, you know, I wasn't officially in the list. You know, it wouldn't have been S if we all voted for it, obviously. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
All right, great. Well, thank you all so much for being here, and thank you all again so much for our uh, Christmas miracle last week. We really appreciate the the generosity that got us to our December goal in order for us to be doing this today. Thank you all so much. Um, I hope that you all have a wonderful holiday. Um, we will have some streams here this week, um, but there is not a stream on Saturday because that is New Year's Eve. Um, but we will still have streams this week. So don't, we will still have one. Yeah. We will have one on Friday nights. Um, so I yeah, know. I, I'm still pending here. <laughs> Well, we also have uh, uh, the Wednesday uh, Q and A, right? Yes. We're still doing yep. that, right? Tomorrow yeah. we got a Q and A and everything. So, uh, yeah, awesome. Come on back and hang out with us yeah, and celebrate out. the end of 2022. Yeah. It's it's yeah, coming to bye. an end. Come hang out. Yay! All right, everyone. <laughs> have a wonderful evening, and we'll see y'all soon. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, oh.